on it. So good to see y'all. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Y'all come on in. Well, hey, Jane and Jane. Town Homestead. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good morning. Hey, hey, Beardy Granny. <laughs> There's Lynn, Pamela, Lisa. There's Monique, Shannon King. All right, good morning, y'all. Come on in. Get you a big old glass of sweet tea and some coffee. I think like, I think sweet tea is like a southern thing. <laughs> Whatever you drink is, just get one and we'll get started here. Hey, Roger. Life Aikido way. Good morning. Hey, John. Yeah, the chickens feel good this morning. They, they're making lots of noise. Stevie, can you play something on that computer to make sure that speaker's working? Any, yeah. kind, any kind of audio. Let me see about it. Uh, <sighs> any kind. Hey, hey, hello, everybody. Hey, hey, sir. Gonna try to check the speaker, make sure it's working. Another line from Herschel Walker. 15% for everything from my company goes to charity. All my money going to charity. Well, the New York Times contacted those four charities. One declined to comment. The other three said they had no... Yeah, but first, let's hear this commercial because... Hey, that's okay. As long as... Make sure the volume's wide open right down here. Make sure this volume's wide open. Make sure all the volume's wide open. And you're going to need to put that on the other side. I might have to hold the speaker near this. Well, i done. Let me tell you, this actually works. Within a week, I noticed a much cleaner home. Let's All I see. did was plug it into the wall and let it do its magic. So if you're looking for a way to keep your home clean, you need to get... Well, it's going up. Put it this way, son. All at the same time. That's right. I'm talking about all the stuff I could possibly look up, and it was that. Y'all give me a second. We're going to test out the audio. You just did test it soon. It's working. That's on a hundred. The volume right down there at the bottom right. Make sure it's wide open. Hold your mouth down there. I'm Helen from Georgia and I have some coffee. I have Look my coffee. Look at the volume right here and it's and all the way up. Cody I don't know about no volume on the bottom. There's a, vo there's a volume down there in the task bar. Yep. You better come look at it. My picture on it and it's got Cody's see it right there? Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they can see it. Oh. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Here's y'all's coffee. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're doing all you can do to him. All right, go ahead. Does the audio sound good you there, y'all? It's got a bluebird cup. It's got coffee in it. Y'all have a sip. Come yeah. on up closer where y'all won't miss nothing. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. It's a beautiful. They might be stormed somewhere. All right. Good deal. Around Florida or wherever it's at. I don't even know. Where it... All right. How's everybody doing? Look at this. Y'all, look at this shirt I got. How cool is that? Are you about to get it? 
I see when I'm getting it close to the mic. <coughs> It's kind of weak. Yeah. So good to see y'all. Hey, good morning. Y'all, I went to Grandma's. She fixed me up. Uh, she cut my hair. <laughs> Bentley said, Dad, you don't even look like the same person. <laughs> Oh, Grandma, yeah, Grandma cut it, cut it off with them clippers. Not really cut it off, but you know, she cleaned me up. Oh, yeah, yeah, like I love the shirt. I love the shirt, and I got a book. Uh, I got a book that, like, a Bob Ross book, a how-to painting. Hey, it's pretty cool. I love it. Let's see. Here it is right here. <laughs> it's got his picture in happy little trees. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, Grandma, she's been cutting my hair a long... <laughs> she's been cutting my hair a long time. Good morning, Miss Chung. Hey, Linda Wright, good morning. <laughs> Diana said, good morning from Temple, Texas. Hey, I don't know what they're doing. They're having them a good time over there. Like Houdini and the Blackfoots going at it. They like they over there like <laughs> they over there getting with it. Oh, look at that super chat! Thank you for that. That was uh. You see it hard. Yeah, that was Joyce at $20. Yeah, that's I, right. Thank you, Miss Joyce. I think I need to let this down some more. That, that microphone needs to be right at that speaker. Man, I don't know what's going on with the chickens. Like. <clears throat> it needs to be right there close as it can get. Yeah. Hey, they really are fighting. Is that straight, Stephen? Uh, look, there you go. There you go. I mean, Houdini is like just got him in the headlock over there. <laughs> hey, y'all quit. Let me go see about him. Yeah, they, they fighting. Hey. Or they... Cut that out. Cut that out. Behave. You behave. I got one for y'all. What if a hurricane come through the United States and messed up a bunch of businesses and everything? And there was somebody named Joe who says, I got the fastest growing economy in 2,000 years. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Would that be true, y'all? <laughs> You know what I'm you know what the hurricane is? It's the C O V I D. And then if my name was Joe, I would be claiming I got the fastest growing economy in ten thousand years. 
So y'all got a good idea. Uh, I want to try something new. Chung said, read her message <coughs> before she slaps somebody. What's her message say? I think she said move them to the other pen. Yeah. Got a good idea, y'all. I I want to try something new. It's called Call a Subscriber. <laughs> uh, I think it'd be cool to call one of y'all and, and have y'all on live. Obviously, it'd be audio, but uh, I don't know. What do y'all think about that? Move one rooster. Manit said she would she would get it on camera, but it will cost two thousand dollars. Said she don't. <laughs> she will do a freebie over the telephone, but if you're gonna show her, be two thousand dollars. <sighs> Love that. Yep. Sounds fun. Ada, they hadn't been uh, they hadn't been acting like that. What happened is I come out there and I gave them some worms right before I went live, and they uh, <laughs> them worms are so good they get it. I don't know. I guess they get jealous. They don't want to meet the worms. <laughs> and if this works out good, he'll call. He'll call one of y'all that wants to be called. Yeah. Yeah. Joyce said, call me, I'm shy though. Okay, let me straighten that out. Monique said, no, I didn't say that. Oh, <laughs> then. No, I was just joking. I just uh, add, I just uh, threw that in there. They grow Monique did thing. not say that about the $2,000. Yeah, they get along well. <sighs> Carol Hannah. Oh, uh, thank you for the super chat. Inside Terry. <coughs> Ain't that something. I see Miss Carol in there. Miss Carol, I got them uh Miss Linda Wright. Call me anytime. Alright. I got uh Miss Carol, I got your pen in there and where the chickens in they flying around up in that thing. They I got them a bar in there, and they getting up on it real high, and they, I was curious, because grandma's like that stick, so, anyway, I'm letting them, I'm letting them, uh, experiment around in there, it's pretty cool, they feel good. Hello from Ireland. Yep, hello from Ireland. There's Becca B. God bless you, Danny. Thank you, Becca B. <laughs> Let's call our friend Monique. Hey, Cindy. She says she loves the simple man. Y'all, I need one of them big old towels wrapped around my head. With the with the with the diamond up there in the center. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Hey PJ Manley, good to see you in there. Let's call Biden. <laughs> There's Cheryl Smith in there. Good to see y'all. Waiting to hear sweet Monique. Let me tell y'all when you hear Monique's voice, it'll change your life. You'll never be the same again. <laughs> it's a good thing you got 99% women on your channel. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Should have one of them call hotlines like the radio. I think we ought to go ahead and call Monique. And if, and if we, <laughs> and didn't call somebody else. Well, here, Luke. 
All right, well, let's see if we can get a hold of her. So, y'all, we got the fastest growing economy ever. <laughs> Here we go. Hello. Well, good morning. Let's see if we can get a hold of it. <laughs> so, y'all, we got the fans. You got to, you got to mute your here. live. Here we go. <laughs> hey, I don't know what exactly was that. It's her computer. With the delay sound. Hello. Hello. Well, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Hey, Monique. Hey, Monique, you got to you got to mute your tablet. Hey, I don't understand why I keep on repeating. Good morning. Good morning. It's just doing it over and over, ain't it? Hey, Monique. Hi, Daddy. Oh, you with us now? Monique. Oh, yeah. Hang on for a second. I will do that. Sorry. It's okay. There you go. All right. Sorry. Are you with Hello, us? Hello, everybody. Are you with us now? Hello. You know what? There may be a delay. There is a delay. If there's that big a delay, then... But she might be trying to work everything out. There. Yeah, yeah. This is new, y'all. We don't way, really know. Way, way behind you. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it, Monique. I don't know. I can only hear you in my tablet. So I can't hear you on my phone. Oh, I see. Well, you talk and we'll, we'll it's listen. It's a delay. Yeah. Monique, can you just talk through your phone? Yeah, I like that. I, I figured that. That's why I wanted my phone. <laughs> well... Why don't, why don't, uh, why don't I go get my phone? I can talk through my phone, yeah. I can do that. Can you hear us through the phone? And I can hear you in, on my tablet. Hello, everybody. There it goes. Hey, Monique, what, have, do we still got that big delay? I might need to call you on my phone. Let me go get my phone. Tell you, Monique, that, uh, that you're going to call her on my phone. I'm just to talk to you through the phone. Hey, Monique, we're going to call you on the telephone because we can't do it through the computer because there's a delay. <laughs> yes, we do. Because, I mean, it's like... Yesterday I said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, Monique, you from Sweden? Yeah, it's like a big delay, y'all. We're going to work it out. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> buddy. That's like that delay is like too funny. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. All right, we're gonna call you back. Okay. Yeah, that was a learning experience. Hey, we'll get it figured out, y'all. Yeah, she... It sounds like about a, a good 30 or 45 second delay. I think it's longer Take than that. Take that jack and plug it into the phone. Not that. And I don't, I'm not sure if that jack, that jack may be bigger than the... Man, these phones has got, have you spilled a few cups of coffee in it? God, dog. These phones, they got good speakers. All right. Well, let's see. We'll get it worked out. Hey, good morning, Sherry, and good morning, everybody. Y'all kind of been paying attention to Steven and what's going on there. I ain't been looking at the comments too much, but I'm saying good morning to everybody. Man, your phone is a dinosaur. Do you know that? Don't be talking about my telephone. I mean, it is a dinosaur. Need to take your shoe off and, and go buy you an updated one. And they might get me a iPhone Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. You you got a dial. Well, you just do it again. Um, they might going to get one of my phones, y'all, cause I'm gonna put Tammy on the drum channel live. Your call cannot be completed. Yeah, this ain't working. Oh, oh, I don't see why it wouldn't work. Your number is the first three two seven eight. Or aim aim it to me and let me uh, cut some stuff on. Oh, ain't it fun, y'all? That's the problem when you're live with your phone and everybody's, you have all your information on your phone, you, uh, like I'm going to check in and get in a tablet so I can do this. Hey, Rachel, I called her on Messenger. It was a two-minute delay like we just had us a good old time. It's like... <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that ought to work, man. Calling me. Now Monique's calling us. Yeah, you answer and see is it better. Hello. Put it in there. <laughs> There's that delay again. Okay, tell Monique gonna try to call her on the phone. <laughs> Your cell phone's on six percent. Hello. Hey. Can you hear me now? Well, I can't hear you in the phone still though. Man, it's a nightmare. Ain't it? It's a nightmare because you got your stuff off. No. I got it on there. Uh, there you go. Let me go get my. Phone charger.
It's five o'clock somewhere. This is because he don't have his data on, so when he turns his data on, he gets 400 messages. <laughs> yeah, this is ridiculous. Hey, it ain't ringing. I mean, we need to to have a heart attack. So is your phone. There you go. There you go. Y'all see? That they people that love Sweet D too. You hear all them messages coming in there? Yeah, I don't know who in the, <laughs> who in the world cuts their dad off and has a phone. That's like my little not even have it. I'm like more popular than Elvis. Well, I'm about to power it off because I'm tired of it. Uh -uh, you just have to cut it down and let it finish. Um, she gave me her number on him, but like her number ain't dialing. Let's see. You didn't try it again? Well, you know, like in our, where we from, you put a one in front of the numbers. No, you don't. It's put her area code. Hey, well, I'm telling you. I mean, like, what a day. She's more harder to get a hold of than Elvis. <laughs> This is called your lifeline. Uh, Everything is beautiful. Ain't it? In his own way. Completed it. <sighs> I'm about to have a heart attack, Stephen. Hey. Come put your number in here so she can call us. Yeah, we don't beat me to. All right, I got it right here. You got the area code? Like, I know what the area code is, Brother Love. Well, I mean, you, if, it was, if it was me over there doing this, I'd be done already done. Got Monique on the phone. Be done figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> it is. I done bought so many spinners off eBay, you wouldn't believe it. In there having a good time. Sweeten is 40. Hey, John, you got to explain yourself better now. Yeah, like putting plus four six like that. Said dial plus four six. <laughs> so, like, go to my calculator? <laughs> You sent Monique the number, didn't you? Yeah. Maybe I'll just give her a minute. I sent her a message. Okay, there's what Monique says. You got to dial 0046 and then the number. 
Well, then that explains a lot. It's funny when you not from around an area, like people just assume like you automatically know that. If this is an emergency, hang up and dial 911. For directory assistance, <laughs> hang up and dial 411. For difficulty making or completing calls, hang up and dial star 611. Hey, Ms. Wells. Ain't happening. Monique is impossible to call. We've tried it. <laughs> Tell Monique. Is, Monique, you didn't get Stevens the number to, to my phone? Yeah, we sent you the number. Just call us. I mean, I so much, so no, many people saying so much stuff. No, your dinosaur phone probably won't call us, will you? None. Is that what you really think? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I know we like all here, and we're having a good time. It's cool this morning in Georgia. Coca's, Coca got over there and had the tripod in the head locked. Hey, Pat. <laughs> y'all having a, y'all having an earthquake. <laughs> that's what it, hey, that's what it looked like when Coca got in the tripod. Yeah, she walked right through the center of it. And then like when she walked in the, center of it it got good to her about halfway i tried the number but it said the voicemail isn't activated uh. yes it ain't working i will I go see about a tablet and I'll solve all these problems. Good morning, Texas Nana. This is an emergency. Hang up and die. Hey, y'all, the 0046 ain't working. Yeah, Z. It's 0046. And okay, somebody said 011. So let me write Monique's number down here. I might, I might have to call Monique sometime when Timmy goes to bed. Yeah, he... <laughs> oh, good to, good to hear that, Linda Cameron. I'm glad that worked out. I'm trying to get my niece number wrote down here where I can redial it. But it's a bunch of numbers. Let me help you out here. Yeah, thanks. I can't hardly see it. I sit here and call every, I sit here and call everything. <laughs> oh. Okay, do you have to put the four six in the phone? Because uh, you, you ain't got. All right, dial six eleven 
and get the phone service to help you. I don't want to do that, y'all. Don't work. You can't. You can't say your number out. Dial zero eleven. Then, good God, man! I I try that. Yeah, this is like the impossible feat. Yeah, but we're having so much fun. We're just having so much fun, ain't we? <laughs> Zero, eleven, and then o o four six. Hey, we hey we learning. Uh, Stephen, I know we talk about food, so what's on the menu for today? Hey, I don't have anything picked out today. I don't have anything. So just tell me what y'all fixing for lunch. <laughs> Maybe we ain't like the best for learning how to make an international call. Being about 400 miles is the furthest we ever been. Here you go. <laughs> Just take that right there, and I'm going to tell you what to put in there. Let's see what bearded granny said. Okay, 011, that should be in there. Yeah. Then 0046. Yeah. Then Monique's number. Okay. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Please check the number and dial again. You, you, didn't, you didn't put that 4-6 in there again, did you? Mm. Homemade vegetable soup. Woo! Boneless ribs and baked beans and tater salad. Gracious. Anybody got any other suggestions? <laughs> hey, like, so, like I know. So, Monique's saying 011, Hang up and dial 0046, for and then my number. Like, hey, it ain't us, because I gave her our phone number, and like our phone number's exactly right, and it ain't letting her call us. BLT and potato soup. Well, it looks like we better get somebody up to call. Until we get this figured out. We're unable to complete your call. To speak to a customer service representative, please hang up and dial <laughs> stop. I think your phone don't have an international calling is what I think. Mine's unlimited everything. I, don't, I just don't know if you got that plan is what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know what I got. Yeah. But he's on he's on the phone. He's using his phone for the live, y'all. Yeah. So he can't call with the phone. So, uh... He says, skip the zeros. <laughs> Try that. Try that one more time, and, and uh, we'll call somebody. We'll call somebody and say, it's me again, Margaret. If this is an emergency, hang up and dial 911. <laughs> For directory assistance, hang up and dial 411. For difficulty making or completing calls, hang up and dial star... 611. For alternate billing of a call, hang up and dial 1. Yeah, we're going to be all right. All right. <laughs> Stephen. Oh, goodness. Stephen needs to know a number. Yeah, but that, that he can call. Yeah, but like you can't put your number on here, so you have to send it to Danny to Danny's office. To Danny's Facebook Int Messenger. 
Oh man, I got I got a bunch of girlfriends on there. Yeah. Somebody who wants to be called, y'all? I don't see all that many volunteers. Yeah, send us a message. If you want to be called, we'll call you. Man, I don't even see Facebook on your computer. Well, I got it fixed, see? Yeah. You do know I know every trick in the book. Yeah, well, like, you better be glad you ain't doing this with Grandma, or she'd be done with you out here. I'm actually a cool, like, I'm pretty laid back. It don't bother me. <laughs> there you go. You had it hid. It wasn't hid. It wasn't hid. All right. All right, I got messenger pull up right here on daddy. If you want to be called live, shoot me your number and we'll go from there. Yeah, and if you ain't friends with me, I'm Danny S. Hodges on Facebook. I could, do got a Danny Hodges account, but they took that away from me. It was an active account, but I had two accounts, and they, uh, Facebook closed that account. All right, we got a number. Four, let's see. There's Hope. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are y'all doing? I mean, you were live on the big show. Tell us who you are. Yeah. <laughs> this is Jolie. Jolie. Jolie Hayden. Yeah. This is me. Sorry, my dogs are going crazy. Well, they hear my voice. It's, that's normal. Hey, Julie, you have to feed the dogs every now and then, you know. Yeah, that's right. So how are y'all doing today? Hey, we doing great. Hey, we doing fine. Good. Did you see us trying Good. to get a hold of Monique? Yes, I sure did. I'm sorry. Hey, <laughs> oh, hey we, we got to figure that out, Julie. <laughs> hey, Monique. Well, I... I I love you guys, and I think it's wonderful what you're doing. And, Stephen, that letter, oh, my goodness. That really touched my heart. It died. Oh, yes, thank you. It was sweet. It was very heartfelt, that's for sure. Yes, it sure was. But um, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're reaching a lot of people, and it's just wonderful. Oh, well, thank you so much. Where you live at, Julie? Not, not the city. Um, I, I live in Pierce City, Missouri, and it's about 30 miles from Joplin. Is that is that what they true say about Missouri people? What does that show me? <laughs> show me state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what we hear. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we hear anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, so y'all don't believe nothing, do you, Julie? No. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah. Hey, I yeah. love it, though. You guys are great. I, I love it. The entertainment, the laughs, the prayers. I mean, all, all of it's just wonderful. We, we really do have good intentions. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Is, is it odd if I called you up sometime about 12 o'clock at night and say, it's me again, <laughs> Margaret? <laughs> I don't know that I'd answer it. Oh man! Danny, to be honest with you, because 
Um, I have to take medication, and so when I take my meds, I, I'm out for the night. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you know what? My chat's done stopped me. I don't know what's going on here. I know somebody's. Oh, boy. I know somebody's chatting. I know what's getting on. I'm getting barbecued sitting here. <laughs> Hey, what's the temperature in Missouri? Um, right now it is sixty-four degrees. That's like that's like t-shirt that's weather, there, ain't it? This, <laughs> yeah, it is. Let's see. This computer says sixty-two, but I don't believe it here. Sixty-two. Oh, there in Georgia, sixty-two. Yeah, yeah. Well, it says sixty-three in Atlanta. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I appreciate you guys calling. I'm sure there's other people that want to be called, right? Okay. No? <laughs> well, we, I, there is another number here. Okay. Well, I don't want to take up all the time and be a hog about it. Very nice yeah. talking to you, yes, Julie. Yes, it was. You know it, what, everybody? It was, it was, everybody's it was nice gonna rem- talking to you guys, too. Everybody's going to remember you now. All the men going to be calling. Uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, I will sell your number for $100, you know. <laughs> that ain't nice. Okay. All right, well. <laughs> oh. Well, you, got, you guys have fun, and I'll keep watching, okay? Stephen, uh, you take care, bud, okay? All yes, right, Miss Julie. And thank you for watching. It, it's, it, it does a heart good to have people like you watching absolutely and i'll keep watching you just keep doing what you're doing yeah hey julie do you watch the drum channel uh yes i do okay yes i do one well, more thing well, well, i'm gonna send you a fruit basket then. one more thing before you go <laughs> okay what what you cooking for for lunch what am i cooking for lunch today well we're having like i said yesterday i made some Boneless ribs Woo. with some tater salad and some baked beans, and I have quite a bit left, so we're going to have that for leftovers for lunch because I don't like wasting food. I mean, tater salad. Like she, if he was in Georgia, you'd fit right in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> stay, on the, stay on the phone just a second. Does anybody okay. got a question for Joey? Put it up here on the chat. Anybody got a question? Let me see. I put y'all on pause. Hold on. Joey, Joey Hayden. It's, it's Hayden, Stephen. H-A-Y-E-N. Oh, okay. Hayden. That's right. Hey, you're going to have to mute it back. Yeah, I'm going to have to mute it because it's... when when On my TV, because I watch you guys on the big TV, and then I have my phone and I, I chat on the phone... So it's the phone's always ahead of what the TV is. Just sometimes I'll pause it if I'm doing something, come back, and of course the phone's always way ahead of what the TV is. Yeah, Jolie, uh, John wants to know: Do you still have hummingbirds there? Um, we do have hummingbirds in Missouri, but I I haven't seen any. Okay. Cause they starting to leave, uh, they starting to leave from around here. Oh wow! And they're my well, I mean, favorite they, birds too. They, you know, they come and go, and they come back every year. But right, yeah, they're they're beautiful little birds. I love them. Oh yeah, Grandma had one on her Facebook yesterday that was on steroids. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. I, I love your grandma. She is the sweetest, sweetest thing. I, I got. It, do you guys have time? I have a, a story I want to tell you. Yeah. If it, if I don't take up too much time. Go right ahead. So me and my husband lived in Branson, Missouri, in 2015-2016, and um, we were both working at Silver Dollar City, which is a theme park there. And um, we weren't making a lot of money. Um, So I was a nurse for 20 plus years, and I also did home health and hospice. And that was my passion. 
Oh, okay. And so, yeah, and so I decided I wanted to get back into doing home health again. And um, I went to this place where they do, like, um, it's a job place where they help you find a job. Yeah. And they had a lady, they had a lady sitting in there, and she was needing somebody to take care of this lady. Uh, it was a it was a full time position where I would work four days on, three days off, and then another caregiver would come in when I wasn't there. Yeah. And she she lived on Lake Caney Como. She had a beautiful um, home there, and I took care of her. Um, until she passed away in September of 2016. Aww. And she reminded me so much. Your grandma reminds me so much of her. <laughs> her her demeanor, her personality, this hard worker. I mean, it, it was just, that's why I started watching when I found your grandma. And then she talked about you. And I said, oh, I got to go subscribe to Steven now. If he's anything <laughs> like his grandma, I know I'm a loving. Aww. So, um, I, I started, I started watching you and then I started watching the concerts and all that. So it, it's just a beautiful thing. It sure is. Sure is. It's a, so, it really is a small world when you stand back and look at it. It's a big world, yeah. but, but look at what's happening here. We, we coming together all around the world. It's a, a beautiful thing. It, it is, and and you're t you're touching so many lives, and and it just it, it's just a beautiful thing. And don't even pay any attention to any of those naysayers and people that you know. We got to pray for people like that that make those kind of comments That's right. and stuff because it can be hurtful. Well, we I was laughing about the comments. Daddy was spitting fire mad like we. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we, like he's my daddy. And, but yeah. I mean, we got different personalities, and Daddy said, yeah. "I don't see how you can laugh about that because it ain't funny." But I laugh stuff yeah. off. I don't, I don't take it to heart, and that's right. just different than yeah. our personalities. Yeah, that's that's exactly <laughs> right. And you're his, you're you're his son, so I I can understand me being a parent myself. I got two grown daughters, so anytime anybody said something to one of your youngins, I mean, you're, you're going to, you're going to, that defense is going to come out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, right? Man, <laughs> hey, Monique, Monique sent a message, said her neighbor pulled up, knocked on the door, and she, <laughs> y'all ever seen Sandy on SpongeBob? She kicked the door open, said, get out of here. <laughs> the Hodges are live right now. <laughs> I ain't got time for you. You know, you know, you know who I think we ought to call after we after we hang up with you, Julie. Do what uh, now, Danny? You know who I think we ought to call after we hang up with you. Who? John Patterson. Oh, John. Yeah, okay. Hey, Julie. Uh, me and yeah. Stephen. Me and Stephen. We truly love you. Yeah, we do. Well, I, I I love you guys too, and my husband Kurt wants to say hi to y'all. Okay, get hey good. Kurt. You know what to say, don't you, Kurt? What's that? Behind ever a uh, good woman, there's a good man. I kind of heard that the opposite way. And I <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes I, don't know about me, but you know. All right, I got a I got a. <laughs> A true, sincere question. All righty. Who does the most cooking, you or your wife? That's her love language. She <laughs> loves cooking. She's an excellent cook. You ain't going to go and interfere I, I, with that, are you? Uh, <laughs> I, I, ain't gonna, I, I mean, I'll cook for if she's like not feeling good or something. I try to take care of her as much as I can. But, uh, man, she is far superior to me in the cooking department. I bet well, she that, is. that's one thing I that's one thing I told my husband. I said, "Listen, if we ever get a chance to go to Georgia, which I want to come so bad and meet you guys, but I want to cook your family a home cooked meal the way I cook, the way I was raised to cook." 
You talking about a little gravy on the taters? <laughs> Fried chicken. There, there you, you go. go. Now you got now you got mystery man standing up over here. <laughs> uh, I got well, one in pocket uh, knives. It's got a fork on it. <laughs> just for just in case of emergencies. Yeah, there you go. In case well, I need to stab I, I love, somebody. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I, <laughs> well, I love you guys, and I, I'm going. I'm gonna get off here so you can call somebody else. Well, right. we we calling. we love you and your husband too. We sure do. Thank y'all okay. for being subscribers and watching, and, and y'all have a blessed day. You too. God bless you guys. <laughs> yes, thank, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Jolie. You're welcome, Danny. Have a good day. Yeah. All right. Y'all too. <laughs> bye. All right. Bye bye. Hey, that's all right, wasn't it? John? Yeah, yeah, we got somebody. Let's see. And John, y'all, John said he didn't know his phone was tore up or something. Or he's saying something. I think he's scared to get on there and let y'all ask him questions. All right, here we go. Y'all be like figured out he's got about ten girlfriends or something other. You know, just just calling random numbers to get interested. Y'all, you know, I've, I've thought about this for Grandma before, but I knew Hello. she... Hello? Hello? You got to tell us who we are because we don't have a clue. Oh, my gosh. Steven! Yeah! <laughs> Hey, you got D. Russello from Southern Ohio. D? D, yeah, like Deanna, but I go by D. I hear you, D. Well, it's nice to have you. So great to hear your voice. Lord mercy. It's my <laughs> day off, and I'm talking to the Hodges. <laughs> you sure are alive and in color. You, got, go about, you got about... Four or five thousand people listening to you? <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. Thanks, I. <laughs> well, I know one thing. I, was, I sent you a message, Stephen. I was about ready to have the hubby hook up the fifth wheel and come to East Dublin, Georgia, and do some whooping up on some people. I'm like your daddy. Oh, listen to that <laughs> accent. I love it. I do, too. Where Where you say you're from again? Southern Ohio, but I got a lot of Kentuckian in me. Hey, you know, you know, Ohio and Kentucky ain't too much different. <laughs> Tennessee and a bunch of them states ain't too I'm much different about, in Georgia. Yeah, I'm only about 15 minutes from Kentucky. I'm about an hour east of uh, Cincinnati. I mean, country is a turnip. It's country. <laughs> I'm talking about you, country is a turnip. Oh, I am. Oh, yeah, yeah, buddy. I guarantee you there's some cornbread getting fried in that house, ain't it? <laughs> we country here. <laughs> hey, I love we it. We farmers. I love it. Ain't nothing wrong with, with the being a little bitty. Does yeah. you and your husband watch the concerts? He When he comes in, he's a workaholic. Uh, he has a full-time job. Then we have about 50 head of cattle. So uh, he's a busy man, but... He, he comes in. I'm the one that told Stephen to learn some Jeff Bates. Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Yeah. Good old Jeff Bates. So it's it's nice being rich, ain't it? <laughs> we ain't rich. I'm still working. <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm still working. <laughs> oh. Looking forward to the day to retire, but not yet. So... So I gotta ask you: Do y'all eat? Uh, do y'all eat fresh tomato sandwiches with mayonnaise on them? Do I eat what? You broke up. Do y'all eat? Water? Do y'all eat tomato sandwiches with mayonnaise, salt, and pepper? Yeah, maybe throw a little bacon on there. There you go. Oh, see, uh, see, we a lot alike, ain't we? <laughs> throw a little bacon on there. <laughs> Will you tell your grandma I've watched her? For years, my grandbabies, when they come, they're seven and five years old, they say, can we watch the old lady? 
And uh, I've gone back and watched every one of her videos for years. Ain't that and yours, fun. Danny, your old antenna videos and all that. I've been doing that for a long time. Oh, really? Yeah. How about that? You know, my old, I, you know, I abandoned my Southern Ideas channel, but it's kind of it's kind of starting to warm back up. Yeah, I uh, been following you guys on, well, Grandma for a long time. We've been friends a long time on Facebook, and then followed Danny for a long time. Yeah. But, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Do you do you have the aggravating men on Facebook trying to get a hold to you like the way they do, Grandma? No, no. I work for the sheriff's department, so that's usually all I got to put on there, and they gone. So, so, what, <laughs> so what you saying is you like slap people for a living? Uh, <laughs> so, I'm not law enforcement. I'm civilian, but so I don't but, need to call uh, you up and say there. it's me again, Margaret. <laughs> I cut them without cutting them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, good. Thank you for your service. That, it's, that is a job that don't get enough credit, for sure. And y'all got 50 cows? Uh, yeah, we got about 40-some heifers, I think, and I don't know how many. We took some to the market yesterday, so it might be down now, but he's got quite a few calves out there. Beef cattle. We do beef cattle. So is the market up on the beef? Uh, it is a little bit, yeah. Not much. You know, that that kind of sounds like a full-time job looking after the cows. It is a full-time job. So, y'all, yeah. when you had babies this last go-around, how many calves did y'all have? Just They calve all the time. He doesn't do it like a calving season. Oh, okay. He just lets the bull have free reign. You never know when a calf's going to drop. Hey. Hey, Free I, rain. How about that? I did some work in a cow field when I built a big shelter one time, and they was two bulls. They had them separated, but them bulls, like the bulls tore the fence down while I was there to get to that other bull. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> they was That's mad. like having two roosters. <laughs> that, yeah. Well, they done, they laying down now. They done chilled out over here. Yeah, you gotta have one bull. You can't have more than one. And this is D Russell. D Russello. It's yeah, it's R O S S E L O T, but it's pronounced Russello instead of Rossi Lot. All right, so this pretty truck is this yours or your husband's? That's a hubby's. Yeah, eighty-five uh, square body GC. Yeah, we're hot rod people. We got several several cars. So that, is that the ice cream getter? <laughs> it has been known to go to DQ. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's beautiful. Thank you, beautiful thank you. Truck. Got that down in uh, North Carolina, I think, a couple years ago. Oh, sweet. What well, you? Yeah. What other hot rods y'all have? Uh, I got a '57 Chevy, '36 Chevy, two door sedan. I knew they was rich. <laughs> We no, carpool, Danny. We carpool. There ain't no ham sandwich eating going on there, is it? There's a baloney sandwich eating going on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. I like to throw one on the frying pan and let it swell up. And you have to split it. That's yeah. when you know you're a true baloney yeah. eater. Yeah, that's what my husband likes them. Good old fried baloney. Oh, I think it's so sweet that y'all watch the show and uh, you. You gave your number to tune in. I think that's wonderful. Thank you so much for participating. Well, I've been watching for yours from the beginning, and Grandma's, like I said, I had to go back and watch all of hers. And it took me a long time, but I watched them all. And then one time I heard Danny say, when you go to bed, just turn your phone on Grandma's channel and let it run so she'd get place. i done that many times, sir. Did you now? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Yep, sure did. Daddy said, I heard don't him say cheat. that one time. Daddy said, don't cheat. Have it turned up just enough. You can hear it. Well, I, I could hear it. Yeah, it's by my bed. I could hear it. <laughs> oh, well, I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's a beautiful thing. Well, and what are y'all having for lunch? Uh, Probably leftover pizza. 
We had pizza last night, so I think we're just gonna have some leftover pizza. What kind of pizza do y'all like? Like he likes uh like a meat lovers pizza. Me too. Meat lover. Yeah. Hey, you like yeah. pizza? You like leftover pizza? You eat it cold or hot? No, throw it in the air fryer and heat it up. That air fryer bring it back to life, won't it? Yeah, it brings it right back to life. You know what? Sure I, I had a viewer sent me an air fryer. You use it? She's all right. She's I, all right. I had it. I had it in the box for a month because I ain't never used it, and I took it out one day to put something in it, and I I believe I've used it. If I ain't used it every day, I've used it every other day since. It's amazing. So do we. We put everything in the air fryer. Big difference. <laughs> we throw that microwave away just about. Yeah, it's, it's, I put, uh, I done spaghetti last night and I had to put the garlic bread in the air fryer. Yeah. Now I cooked eight pieces of bread, so it took a minute. But I mean, like five <laughs> minutes, that baby's toasted ready. Oh yeah, absolutely. So it's, but uh, so good to hear from you. Yeah, well, let's not leave your beautiful mama out. She looks great. You tell her she looks great. She's lost weight. She she looks awesome. Yes, yes. I, I she's a beautiful woman. She feels a lot better, and um, you know, it's. I'm just glad she feels better. Yeah, I know. I'm working on that myself. The old <laughs> doctor says, Diana. You need to lose some weight, Diana. <laughs> hey, well, it ain't it ain't so easy to push away from mashed potatoes. I say not and... when I see Stephen and Grandma go eat you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so good to hear from me. We gonna call another viewer. All right, y'all have a good blessed day. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You... Thank you, Miss D. Thank you All for right. your call. Right, Ain't that something? Oh, we got another. We got another one right here. Let's see. Ain't it cool to hear the different accents? Anybody that wants to be called, send Danny S. Hodges. I got a picture of me playing the drums or something on there, on Facebook. Send your phone number. We love to hear them accents. Bring it on. Here we go. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Somebody I said want, somebody said I you was the biggest fan. Yes. Yeah. I want a meet and greet with you. Okay. We need to know who this sweet woman you is. You got to tell us who you are, sweetie. My name is Tammy McCullers. All right, Miss Tammy. Hey, that's a pretty name. Thank you. And I'm from Alabama. Alabama. Oh, Lordy. One of them Southern girls. <laughs> I am a Southern belle, baby. Like tear you up in the grocery store checkout line. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> oh, it's so good to hear from you. Thank you, and thank you for calling me. I hey, I I, I love you and your daddy and your mama and Bentley and Grandma. Oh, thank you so much. And boy, I'm telling you, I I feel the same way that Danny did. I saw that show. Why? Well, that song? I feel the same way he does. If that woman had children <laughs> or grandchildren, she wouldn't want her their grandmother telling them that she didn't want them at their house when she was going live. <laughs> See, you're here you're to right do about that. that. Here's here's to they is some cruel people out here. Cruel. Hey, Miss, I mean, just cruel people. Hey, Miss Tammy. Yes. I don't think people realize. See, I 
<laughs> I've been telling Stephen to go down there and help Grandma get started and then yeah. leave. I, yeah. and, you know, I told him to leave when he gets her started to leave. Yeah. But she is asking him to hang around there, see, and I knew that. But I know, I know everybody don't know it. But see, I knew the reason he didn't come back is because she wanted him to hang around there. Well, she is, she is getting old. And like she said, she don't know a whole lot about electronics except for what y'all are teaching her. So I felt so sorry for her the other morning because she was, she was just, I, I could just see myself <laughs> the same way. She was just so nervous and just in in a just a tweety, you know. Yes, ma'am. Miss Tammy, because she couldn't get her stuff together. Yes, yeah, she gets nervous, but I don't. Yeah. You know, I told her there's nothing to be nervous about, <laughs> but she she gets nervous. And uh, also, I ain't told Grandma this, but they some people think like the COVID like got a lingering effect on Grandma. Yep. Uh, does that? Is is that can that happen? You reckon? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've had COVID twice, and I mean I do have breathing problems, but I have COPD, and uh, so it. I think uh, I read on the internet where there was one girl that really did. She uh. She had a whole lot of problems after she had her uh, COVID. So, yeah, it's possible. Uh, Tammy, I see them all on Facebook here saying yes, that <laughs> that, that COVID can, can mess with you, like after you have it. Yes, it can. They say it's really bad. Yes, ma'am. I'm just met- glad I didn't have it real, real bad. But Miss Tammy, my- you're too tough, ain't you? I try to be. My sister had it before I did, and she ended up in the hospital in uh, ICU Ooh. for five days. Dang. But I'm just, I just thank God that I didn't have it no worse than they did. I just had the, uh, the cough. Like I said, I got COPD, so that not, didn't help. Uh, I lost the sense of taste. Oh, yeah. Uh, I didn't run no fever or or nothing like that. I did have congestion in my head. But other than that, I, I stayed uh, shut up for three weeks. <laughs> no, uh... Boy, I was glad to get out of the house when I did, when after it was all over with. What? But I when know. I had it the second time, I only had the cough and the congestion. And it is not, I know I've heard you say that you thought that the uh, uh, golden rod was the cause of uh, allergies. No, baby. It's ragweed. Ragweed. Yes. Uh, the uh, golden rods, believe it or not, now is an herb. So you I... can you you can uh, take and put it and boil it, and then uh, seep <laughs> off the juice or whatever you want to call it off of it. And put it in a jar, and you can use it for different things. How about that? But so, no, Miss, Miss Tammy. Her. Yes, sir. What you What you cooking for dinner today? I ain't cooking. There ain't nobody but me. Oh Lord. Probably just have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Got four or five <laughs> boyfriends. Nope, I don't have any boyfriends. Man. So, Miss Tammy, who? Did you start watching first on YouTube? 
between Miss Helen. Miss Helen. Yes, I did. I've been you... watching her for a long time. Oh, how and about then that? You came in and started helping her a little bit and was at her house doing things. And then I found you. <laughs> so I watch you and her. And I've seen all y'all just, oh, I just love it when you went fishing. <laughs> yeah, I've been wanting to go fishing for a long time. And, uh, man, I thought, God, I wish I could catch a fish oh, like Lord. this. But uh, I watch your daddy's uh, show, y'all, when you do your concert. Yeah. Boy, that's my time. Which, I mean, I'm here by myself all the time. And um, if I know that you're going to have a concert, I don't go anywhere. Oh, right. I make a deal you with you. right here in my bedroom, sit on my bed, and turn the YouTube on and turn it up as loud as I can get it. I make a deal with you. Yes. Let me know when you're coming to meet, greet, and I'll go buy us a box of corn dogs, and I know you eat a corn dog, won't you? No, know, I'm uh, sorry, baby. I don't eat corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was worth a shot. Oh, I'll eat a hamburger from the Dairy Queen, <laughs> and I eat fried chicken. Uh, well, there ain't nothing wrong with that. So... But I do. I, I would really love to meet you and your mom and your dad. You know, and you got the sweetest son. Your children are just wonderful. Thank just you. It's wonderful. Thank you so much. You know what we got to do, Miss Tammy? What? We got to get one of these gals to come down here and go on a fishing trip live. Somehow. Yeah. I don't know how to get them in here. <laughs> well... I'd be glad to come. The only thing is, is I don't have a way to go. <laughs> so. You ain't I got no motorcycle there. or nothing? Nope. I don't have a bicycle, motorcycle, car, or nothing. <laughs> so whenever I want to go somewhere, I have to call my sister up and say, hey, are you going to town today? I need to go do oh, this. Goodness. Maybe you can borrow Monique's Harley. I can't drive no motorcycle. Uh, you know, Monique. Uh, yeah, she, I'm she's friends a, with her. She's a good girl and a bad girl. She so she what she does is she can't make up her mind, so she drives her Harley to church. Oh my goodness! <laughs> well, if that's her way of wanting to go, <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with it. Oh, goodness. Yes, I'm friends with her on Facebook. Well, that, uh, uh, well, that's good. It, hey, it was really nice to hear from you, Miss Tammy. Thank you, and thank you for all your prayers. Oh, you are so good. I know that you and your mom have been praying for me. I don't have the depression like I did before. So, hopefully that's coming out, but I have PT, PTSD or PSTD, whatever it is. Hey, I, and I have that. And, and uh, congested heart failure. You just name it and I got it. Yes, so, And I take probably 15 pills a day. Oh, bless your heart. And so. I got, I got PTSD too. Believe you it or not. Yeah. Yeah, from my past relationship. Okay, Barbara, did you well, did you see and stay in your phone? I line? don't agree with what hap I don't agree with what happened to you. But you know there's a lot of things that's happened to me and I just look at it like this. Hey, I'm not the one that's got the answer for what they've done to somebody else. That's right. You know, I, I felt so sorry for around comes around, baby. I felt I so like sorry for Stephen. <laughs> I felt so sorry for Stephen when he come up here pulling up that camper. But he had to go. He had to go. He didn't have no choice. Well, honestly, I wouldn't have stayed anyway, even if he didn't have a choice. 
He would have. He would have gotten out of that relationship sooner or later. You know what? It was. It was Tammy. It was a tough decision. There was a bunch of deer down there, and they was fishing that pond. You know. Well, I mean, that's tough decision now. Yeah. That was a beautiful place. That's hey, the best. Hey, Stephen, I best. even got. I even got the videos of where you went in and uh, re-roofed your house from that's, where the uh, sure tornado hit you. Hey, that's the, that's the best pond in Georgia. I stocked it myself. <laughs> well, it, it, it was pretty. And I just, I wanted, after I seen you with uh, the lamb, oh, I wanted one so bad. Aw. Uh. You know, Miss Tammy, uh, Stephen, sure. I talked to him on the phone. And I said, man, there's other women out there. He said, it ain't the woman that I'm worried about. He said, it's the it's the hunting land and the fish, fishing barn. Well, he gets to go to the river when he, he wants to. He don't have to answer to nobody anymore except for God. So hey, I come out here oh. and get on to him every now and then. Oh. I know you do. Y'all tickle me. I sit here in the morning time and watch y'all <laughs> and I just laugh. Y'all are so funny. But Miss Helen, I, she died, my mother died on her birthday a year ago. Oh, March 20th. Yep. And I said that was one day that I will never forget. Oh. But Miss Helen turned 84 years old. I love that woman. She is, I, there's so much of me when she talked and told things. There was so much of when, things that she was saying that was, that sound like me. And I know, I know we're live, but when I heard you talk, about the the woman that you wanted and things. I, I didn't say everything, though. I know you didn't. I know you didn't. But the way you love, I love the same way. And and that, I guess that's been my problem all my life is I've been married twice, divorced first time, Husband died in April of this year. Aww. So, uh, but I love too hard. I honestly love too hard. We love too much, don't we? Yep. We love too hard. Damn it, man. And it's like we would try to give that person everything they want or, or just give them things and let them know that we love them, and, and sometimes it don't work. I mean, had me eating a turkey sandwich for nothing. <laughs> well, <laughs> I just, like I said, I don't agree with the way she treated you. Uh, I don't know all the details. Hey, I don't but, even know myself. But <laughs> it just, it broke my heart because she broke yours. Stephen says, I thank even, God in Graham, she's gone. I even saw Jolte's wedding. Hey, that's the day it all changed. Yep. It changed that day. That day. I, I don't, I don't surprise me none. <laughs> it was her daddy. Acting the way he is. You know, I never saw her daddy go out there not one time to feed those animals. And uh, that lamb loved you so much. Hey, he took care of them. He, he was good to them. And then every one of your videos where you was out there with them, uh, feeding them, and and that Chester was something else. Yeah. Hey, reg and, regardless of how he felt about me, he was good to the animals. He just didn't want to be videoed and stuff. 
well, not letting you have at least the lamb. We would have bought him, Tammy. We would have bought the lamb. I understand that. I understand that. But I think that he should have let you have the lamb because... Hey, just to make it clear, the the, anim, the lambs was his. Now, oh, I, they now, was? now I did bottle feed the. I did bottle feed the lamb and raise it, and like it was in my videos, and he loved me, yeah, and I, like I played I with him, he slept with me. Stephen, you're the one that got up at night. And yeah, yeah. I mean, I, saw, I, I, I raised. Seen, I have seen every one of your videos, every one of them. <laughs> Oh, and you owe me a birdhouse, uh -uh. and I wanted a uh, a couple of your cross uh, keychains. You know, I I ordered that. I told you I'd send the money later, and uh, the thing is, is I've not received nothing. We about to change that today. Where you sent your number on here, send your address, and I'll mail you one out tomorrow morning. Baby, you are so sweet. I try to be. Just don't tell nobody. <laughs> Everybody knows. <laughs> your smile, your, uh, the way that you uh, present yourself, and uh, your attitude on life. It tell. I, I I owe that to my mom and dad for being good parents uh, and being good they, role models. They are yes. Your mother, I love her. <laughs> well, she's fitting to be on the drum can. Her that she's gonna be her happen to yes. be the same as mine. All right. How about that? So here's what the women tell me, Tammy. She says they say. If love and Stephen is wrong, they don't want to be right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> because I love that man. He he is just, oh, he's just gorgeous. I <laughs> love you. his you, prayers. Now, I see what you're doing, Tammy. Now, Tammy's huh? trying to get a Christmas present, what she's doing no. now. No. I just wanted, you know, I was so glad you called me. Well, we're glad you got on here and entertained us. Well, I, you know, I can do that. <laughs> but like I said, I'm a Southern Belle, so I've been here in Alabama. I was born and raised in Prattville. I live in uh, Maplesville right now. And... Alabama girl. Uh, Danny... You and I are the same age, and you're not, but uh, I think a week and a half older than me. Oh, I see. So you, you can still turn a backflip yourself then? No, not quite. <laughs> I ain't never been one of them that can turn a flip. <laughs> But I tell you what, I love that dancing you do. Boy, you got the moves. You know, Stephen can really Stephen can really dance and I've been trying to get him to cut loose but Hey, I really hadn't danced yet. Like that ain't what I call dancing and I seen somebody yeah, in the is, last somebody in the last video it? said he ain't gonna dance, you might as well give it up. What do you call that if that's not dancing? That ain't really ain't me dancing. That's just He's now, just swaying. Yeah. But, oh, okay. But he can really well, I dance. I that grandma can dance. Yeah, grandma can dance. Yeah, she get out there, well, me and her. Four years old. She just amazes me. I bet it's your so money. I, I bet your money grandma can dance right now to this day just as good as she always could. If she gets out there, me and her set the floor on fire. I promise you. Oh, I'll, goodness. I, I'll take her toe to toe. Do we got another number to call, Steve? We got several numbers to call. Tammy, we got to get out of here, girl. Baby, good. My, uh, I love y'all. And uh, <laughs> keep me in your prayers. 
I wish I could get rid of this diabetes. Oh, bless your heart. Me and Stephen love you too. And uh, but deep. I am. As soon as I get a chance, I am coming to see you. You better do that. We go. We're I gonna will. go fishing. I want to go fishing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out here and aggravate y'all while y'all lie. <laughs> <laughs> No, I want you to go fishing, too. Nah, I'm going to sit there and aggravate y'all. Oh, my goodness. You're going to record us, huh? Oh, we're going to be live. All right, then. Stephen, tell your mama I love her. I sure will. And, you, uh, have a, you have a beautiful day. You, too. Tell Grandma I love her, too. I certainly will. Thank you, Miss Tammy. You're welcome, darling. <laughs> y'all be sweet. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Man, ain't it beautiful? Ain't it a beautiful thing? You yeah. know, we do got to get you dancing, you know. I know, I will dance, I promise. Hey, there's Tony Z. What we got right here? Hey, y'all, we tried to call Monique for the late people coming in there. We tried to call Monique, and we just could not get through. Monique's still mad. I'm mad myself. You ready? Oh, I'm re I was born ready. Almost. Let's see him. What we got then? Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I cannot believe this phone is ringing right now. Yeah, I keep thinking a man's going to answer, but it's been women this whole time. No, no, it's it's me. My husband's here, but he goes to work tonight. Well, who are we talking to here? <laughs> this is Bethany at Hecktown Homestead. Oh! Hecktown Homestead. Yes, sir. All righty. It's, it's great to hear your voice this morning. Everybody knows you. Oh, gosh, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, Danny. <laughs> I don't know. I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so where you live at, Bethany? No, I'm, I'm in Tennessee. Rogersville, Tennessee. Tennessee. If I was going to move, I believe I'd come to Tennessee. It's a beautiful place, I'll tell you. You know what but I'd buy? It's starting to turn. It's I, gorgeous. I'd buy that property right next to Graceland. <laughs> oh, you gonna go over there and visit? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> well, I bet you could put on a dark wig and do some pretty good Elvis impersonations. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know that every time you sing, especially certain songs, country songs that I listened to in the 90s, I'm singing right along with you. Which, good. Tell good. me one of them right now. Boot scootin' boogie. Out in the country, past the city limits sign, there's a honk at home near the county line. The joint starts jumping every night. Now when, when the, the sun, sun goes, goes down. down. There it is. Look out with gay women, music and smoke. And where all the cowboy folks go to boot scootin' boogie. You hey, all right. You definitely gotta come to Georgia. <laughs> Gotta come to Georgia. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's the first song I ever learned to line dance to, and it took me a long time. I'm a slow learner. Got a good job. Worked hard for my money. When it's quitting time, I hit the door running. Now fire up that pickup truck and let them horses run. Ain't it good to be alive? Amen. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit of stuff, Bethany. Oh, gosh. I, I wanted to talk to y'all for so long, and you know, you get that moment to talk to somebody, and you think, now what do I say? Yeah. Uh, I started li I started watching you because of Helen. I started watching her while I was recuperating from back surgery number one of two. Ooh. And she was just a delight. She was absolutely a delight. She made me forget how much pain I was in. Um, the first one was a, was a whole different ballgame than the second one, but praise the Lord. I'm really, really, really feeling better now. That second oh, one was amazing. Hey, the doctor great. was afraid of it. And he said, this is the one we wanted to avoid. It's going to be a long recovery. And God said, nope. 
You, I've got other plans, young lady. You know, that's beautiful, because you know most people that have back surgery ain't never right again. Well, I, that was my I, fear. You, you hardly ever hear of a successful back surgery. Well, I thought you're 48 years old, and you're getting to the point that you can't even hardly leave the house without being in extreme pain. I couldn't even go to the kitchen and stand to make some oatmeal without hurting. And oh. I said, do what, Chad? Oh, my husband says my head's not right, but that's okay. <laughs> saying, like, saying like you're feeling good enough to go outside and jump on a trampoline. Hey, well, I've been out in the garden picking a mess of tomatoes that I didn't even know was there. They're volunteering all over the place. Oh, wow. So you will Pickle. eat a tomato sandwich. Absolutely. So you got to get Chad on the phone for a minute. I need to ask him a question. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Chad, Mr. Danny S. Hodges wants to talk to you. Be careful what you say. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chad, how you doing this morning? All right, how are you? Well, hey, we're doing fine. Can you get Miss Bethany? Can you get Can you get her away from the? Can you get her away from Stevens Live once she starts watching? Not hardly. <laughs> or, or do you just have to wait and eat till after he gets through? Yeah, basically. <laughs> That's what I hear. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Hey, we, yeah, it's, it's so good to have y'all watching the show. We we appreciate y'all so much. Yes, ma'am. Without without people like you and all the people <laughs> in chat and all the people that watch, this we couldn't even do it, y'all. Well, no. I'm telling you, you're you've definitely you've got a niche on YouTube that nobody else has. But the <laughs> best part about it is, is that that's not why you did it. You did it because you genuinely love people. Yep, I seen people. I seen Stephen. I seen Stephen doing a live one time. I'll never forget. Had thirty people watching, and he was having the best time. It's a video on his channel that he's got about four birdhouses out there. He's standing behind about four birdhouses, and yep. some of y'all can go watch that sometime. I believe I saw that. But, if I'm not mistaken, I've been there for each one. I, it, I could be wrong. It was my top video for a long time. Yeah, for, I was up in the camper, watching from the camper. And, like, I think it's yep. like the first time he really done it by himself. <laughs> yeah. That was my top video for about six months. It's had some other videos beat it since so, but that's... And then you started cooking out there on that dock, and I thought my tongue was going to slap my brains out. It was so good. Oh, like it's sample stuff, too, that you can just do right at home. Yeah. I, I enjoy cooking, and I uh, I don't know. I have a passion for colors and food and tastes and spices. I don't know. It's, you know you get that from Grandma. I don't know where else you get it from. I have a suspicion Danny has it, too. He just hides it. I oh. still remember when Helen showed that little cabin he built. That was something else. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's he is the master of disaster. When he when he grills, <laughs> when Ooh. he grills, it's great. I can't imagine. That's Mama calling. Uh oh, I can't interrupt Mama. You please tell the rest of your family that I love them and that I love to watch and they're just my peaceful place. And yes, I do turn it on at night. You know, you're supposed to update your phone every once in a while. That's right. But you got to turn it off. In order to do that. Hey, and ain't nobody got time for that, do they? No. <laughs> hey, hey, Bethany, we need to, yes, sir. We need to get on out of here and let me call and make sure Tammy's okay. Yes, sir. And we're going we gonna to make some more calls here in a minute, but uh, I'm going to make sure Tammy's okay. I always, okay. when she calls, I always call her. All right. Or, or answer. Me, good husband. Me and Stephen love you and your husband. We, and we, we appreciate, certainly do. We appreciate y'all watching. Well, thank you so much for calling. You have a great day. Yes, ma'am. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, let's don't call her live, son. Okay. we will done do this. i done do that. Oh, ain't it? Hey, Christopher Blake, send, uh, send uh, us your phone number right here to Danny S. Hodges' messenger. Let's get you on the phone, brother. Let's hear that voice. Oh, we got some more people to call right here. It's going to be good. 
<laughs> so good to have y'all participating today. Hey, it's a beautiful day today. Oh, I seen, uh, let me show you my shirt. We got some new people in here. Look at my shirt. I got this a couple days ago, and I, I ain't been able to make a video yet. Do y'all know who that is? Okay, Happy Stephen, little, I got Cammie on the phone here. Happy little trees. It wasn't no emergency. Cammie just wanted to see how we was, I was doing. Okay. Okay. Hold on, let me get you hooked up. Can you hear me now? Hey. Hey, you, ain't, you, you didn't have to hook me up. I just wanted to check on Daddy. Well, like, first of all, you got to say how much you love me. And then, oh. we'll, and then we'll talk about Daddy. Oh, I love you more than words could even say, baby. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> okay, now what do you have for Daddy? <laughs> well, I already told Daddy. I just wanted to see how he was doing. Hey, everybody. I hope y'all having a blessed day. Coca's having, I, Coca's having a good time here running into the tripod this morning. She's hit it five or six times. Yeah, but thank the Lord she can get up, get around, and bump into it. That's right. She will. She is. Hey, Timmy, you got to huh? get up, you got to get over this shyness now, cause well, I'm planning on making a million dollars with you on the drum channel. Oh, okay. Well, I can hardly wait. Y'all <laughs> yeah. stay tuned. <laughs> okay, girl. We love you. We'll let you get back to work. All right. I love y'all too. Bye bye. Love bye you, everybody. Mom. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, how about that? Sweet mama. Oh, what we got? Hey, y'all, I see Lynn Burns there. Well, that ain't the first time I've seen her. But she put a picture of her on Facebook when she was young. Boy, you wouldn't believe it. I showed it to Tammy. Boy, you talking about some kind of pretty. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she still looks like that. Just, just simple. I mean, the prettiest thing you ever laid your eyes on. Here we go. Hello. Well, good morning. Oh my goodness. Got to tell me who we got. You got Phyllis Atkins from Tennessee. Oh, Miss Phyllis. Good morning. Uh-huh. Hey, make I'm, sure you mute your device. Who we got? Well, got Phyllis Atkins from Tennessee. It's like calling in the radio. You want to hear yourself, but you, but you, it, it feeds back. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, um... I'm so glad that you called, and I watch all your videos. And yes, ma'am. It's good to hear from you. She's trying to think about that that repeating in the background. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you mute that in the background there? What? How do I do that? Just turn your volume down. I don't know if it's on the TV or or what you're watching it on. Just. Okay. And who is this? Uh, I watch you on TV, but I usually um, get back to you guys on on my tablet. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll just turn your TV down, and we'll where you ain't hearing a double conversation. <laughs> okay. And who is this we talking to, Steve? Miss Phyllis Atkins. Phyllis Atkins. I know. I've commented Phyllis. it a few times, and. Uh, Sometimes you'll catch them and sometimes you don't, but that's fine as long as I get to watch you guys. Hey, we, we do our absolute best. You do, too. I, I really admire all your whole family for the things that you do for people. Oh, thank you so much. And I first started watching your grandmother, and she <laughs> just, oh, oh, she just hooked me into the things that she did, does and how she lives. She's the most beautiful grandmother that anybody can have. I second that. Yeah, yes. I, I, I just love to watch her. 
And my husband left a few minutes ago, and and I said, where are you going? His name is Gary, and uh, he said, well, if you're going to uh, be with the Hodges all day, I'm leaving. I can't get a word in his wife. <laughs> hey, I, I, hate, I hate Gary and Leif. I wanted to talk to him about you. <laughs> get some of the secrets. He, yeah. He, well, I'm a chocoholic, so he'll tell you I, I love chocolate and yeah. And every time he comes in the door, I'll say, "You got it. You got any chocolate on you?" Let <laughs> me tell. Let me tell you a secret. Okay. He may not hear you talking while he's watching TV, but if uh, you're over there at the kitchen sink washing dishes and you humming, he uh, hears. He hears every word. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I I tuned into that a long time ago. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> men, <laughs> men don't. Us men don't let nobody know, but we love to hear women humming. <laughs> you know, we know that we know as long as they humming, they happy. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I'm I'm a pretty happy person. What? Well, there's nobody here but just me and my husband, and we've got grandchildren, but they don't live close to us, and we don't get to see them very often. So. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Are you rich? <laughs> Not yet, but I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's into classic cars. He likes the older cars, and he really admires the one that Stephen has, the yeah, blue the... one. That, and, uh, I mean, it's just, just uh, you know, just seeing people on the TV, cha uh, your channels, and knowing that you're there. And, I mean, you make my mornings. Uh, uh, if, if it's not Stephen, it's Miss Helen or it's Danny Owen. And <laughs> you know, I just can't. Get up in the morning without turning the TV on and wondering what the Hodges are going to do today. Oh, ain't that sweet one? <laughs> hey, and Stephen never knows what he's going to do. I know. Grandma but has I, an idea. Grandma I always has the, an idea what she's going to do, but Stephen, he don't. He yeah. walk out here talking about what we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> the, this part of Tennessee right now is probably in the sixties, upper sixties, and it gets pretty chilly here real early in the morning, <clears throat> and it affects my voice because I can't hardly talk in the early morning. Oh, wow. Hey, it takes me a little while to get the cobwebs out, too. Uh, yeah. You, you ever been to Graceland? No, but I'd love to go. I would like yeah, to do I that really one, day, one of these days. I loved Elvis. I mean, I cried when he died and, uh, and all that. And, and uh, I, my second son was born on the day... He, that he passed away, I think. And when I was in the hospital, you know, uh, how, what a woman has to go through when she's giving birth to a child, all, all the other stuff, you know. But I actually had TV in front of me, and I could watch Elvis while my baby was being born. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> pretty good right there. Yeah, it is, yeah. I, I've listened to the conversation you had with the lady from Alabama, you know. and uh, I think the lady from Alabama might be a cutter. <laughs> I believe she, she, I believe you could have a good time with her fishing. Yeah, I'd say you could, probably, you know. <clears throat> and we're going to figure a out, was you on here whenever we tried to call Monique? Yeah, yeah, I heard that. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to figure that out. We, she sent some directions. She sent some broke down directions for a country boy, so maybe I can understand it. <laughs> Monique, well, I, Monique, <clears throat> like after this show's over, she's gonna go out there and spin some wheels on a Holly mad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I watch your concerts. I've been getting into to those, you know. Oh, thank yeah, but. You. Yeah, but do it. Yeah. Do it. Make you tap your foot. Oh, yeah. Well, All right, then. What's your favorite song you've heard me do? <laughs> I like them all. And I like the one that your grandmother likes, the one that she really liked. And I, you sang uh, Tennessee Whiskey not too long ago, and I enjoyed that. I did. You know. Yeah. Uh -huh. That, that and, Tennessee Whiskey, it's just the same thing over on the drum just whining and whining. I like to get in and go. 
Well, I like that music too, Danny. I mean, the the stuff that you like, I really like it too. That's what I grew up listening to. You know, right. you know the highest point in that video. You know, we can go look at our audit retention. Uh-huh. The highest, the highest peak in the video was staying alive. Yep. No, that's one of my. And, I love that one. And and he and Stephen thought it was the worst song. You know, like he he could he can't hardly do that BG's voice, but everybody loved it. Well, he done a great job, I think. You know, <laughs> we we've, we've always liked country music and the Grand Ole Opry and stuff like that. But, oh yeah. And sometimes I'll flip it on. But if I see you're on one of the videos, then I go to Hodges. I, I skip that other, you know. Is it okay to ask you how old you are, or about how old you are? Yes, I am 10 years younger than your grandmother. I'm 74 years old. Oh, so, uh-huh. so you've seen hard days, too, before. Oh, yeah. Yep. We've had a lot of tragedies in our life. We've lost uh, two grandsons, and really, you know, it's just... Mm. It's hard to get through, and people like you are the ones that gets gets all that tough stuff. You know, you y'all, you guys get it through. Help us get through it. You know, yes, ma'am. just by watching you all. Yes, man. Yes. We 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 love having y'all. I got uh, a, I got a question for you. Okay. What's the favorite project I I ever made? That, what's your favorite project I've made? The birdhouse that uh, you had the pink, you was going to put the pink ribbon on. Aww. That's That's the one you, I really liked. I really enjoyed that one. Oh, well, thank you so much. And uh, uh, we have a, uh, there's a guy here that makes birdhouses, and he uses real rough wood and moss and that type of stuff. And I bought several from him. But he got, I don't worry, he disappeared or something. I don't know where he's at anymore. But... Anyway, I like your birdhouses real well, oh, especially thank you so the much. especially the one that you use that you burn the, yes, the and I like the burn one with the red roof on it, you know. And, uh, well, thank you so much. That's sweet. I, I'm glad to have you as a viewer and you and your husband and the love and support. It's it's little old bitty people like you that make this possible. I know, I, I guess it is, but, you know, uh, having YouTube has been great for me because uh, a lot of people don't get it on their TV, but I do, and I actually just love it, you know, That's right. to be able to get it, you know. And I first found your grandmother, and she was doing the the cement flower pots and uh, the pumpkins and all the stuff that she did. Right. And then from there, I... I tuned in to you guys. I met you guys after I met her, you know, and Aww. even though I hadn't talked to you, you, it was just like, I gotta keep these people in my life. I've gotta know that they're <laughs> on every day, and you know, you you have got wonderful fans because you do so much for just by talking, you know. I, I actually think that he's got the greatest fans of all. Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I agree. He, he has, yeah. I mean, you all have, and and the comments maybe people make like the other one the other day. I saw that one too <laughs> <laughs> about you and Danny not not being in for your grandmother's, you know, in her in her videos or whatever. But yeah, told us I'm to sure go, she loves go away. Go away, you guys. And I enjoy hearing all three of you talk at the same time. You know, talking and discussing things within each other. Though, you know, that just fills my heart. I mean, I love it, you know. You know, uh, so, you know uh, that, see, I can remember, and Grandma remembers all the stuff, but, like, I'm sort of helping her remember old times, and and I would have thought that people liked that, but there's some people that don't. <laughs> I yeah. usually sit over there and sort of try to be quiet at, on Grandma's. I don't on Stephen's, but I do on Grandma's. But well, I, you I, know, go ahead. I um, I don't have my grandmother because both pa- my husband and he, uh, my mom has passed away, and grandmothers too. And uh, it, you, it just fills your heart to see a family together as a grandmother and grandchildren and children and 
you know, their families, as long as you've, you've married and raised family, too, and when we're all together, I mean, that's just so heartwarming, you know. Yes, ma'am. It's, it's certainly good to hear from you, Miss Phyllis. How you like Grandma's chickens? Oh, I love them. <laughs> she does, too. Uh, you know, I like to have, uh, you know. You know, she spends more time down there with them chickens than anybody would ever dream of. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I guess she feels like they're really a pet, you know. Yeah, they're I actually pet. thought she was going to get mad about people talking about her mighty chickens. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, there's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with having something. I'd, I'd love to have some chickens and maybe a little one of those little tiny goats. The, the little mitty bitty bits, you know. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I mean, I enjoy having that. So. But I'm glad you called. I mean, I, I, I unexpectedly thought, well, they'll, they'll call somebody else, you know. But I'm so glad that you called. Well, we sure are. We sure are glad to, to, to have you on here. This this video today ain't costing Steve enough. <laughs> <laughs> I heard heard your wife call a few minutes ago, and I'm sure she's checking on you. You know, so yeah, and I, you know, I ain't never been able to figure out why that woman loves me, but she does. Well, I'm sure she does. You, you know, know, I went in there and took a bath the other night, and uh, she come up there and put my shirt on, help him, you know, like the way the youngest you you put the shirt over the head and put the arms in it and all that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she does stuff like that. And yeah, I, I I help my husband occasionally too. Because he's a he's a diabetic, and you know he needs a little help occasionally with different things. You know, some women get mad about that, but that's what I'm used to. Yeah. Well, you do what you feel like doing, and I'm sure <laughs> she feels like doing that. You, Miss Phyllis, you sound you. I can like hear Jesus in your voice. You sound up uh, like uh, you sound uplifting. Uh, you're, you're right, you know, uh, like I said, we've had a few tragedies in our family, and and God's helped us get through it. I'm sure, sure he, he is the one that's done it, so, you know. And with with being able to talk to people like you guys and just watching you and seeing how you live, I mean, it, it, just, it just lifts me, you know, because I feel like I've got something I can go to and fill an empty space. That's right. Yes, ma'am. That's Stephen. Uh, just for the record, you know, from the day one, he wanted to have an uplifting channel. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, and you have. You, I think you succeeded in that. Yes, I did. I wanted to be positive content, something different. I wanted to. I wanted to do my own approach with this and and be me. Well. And, and Stephen's gaining subscribers every day. <laughs> I know. I mean, I can see on my tablet, you know. I, got, I need to get me a new one. My battery is about gone, so I just keep keep. That, uh, that could be charging. partially my fault. I, I can't seem to make a short video. <laughs> I've been kind of getting on to him, him and Grandma about, uh, about running everybody's phone dead trying to watch the video. <laughs> Well, I don't mind. I just, I, I mean, I watch as long as you you can be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we sure are glad to have you. Yes, sure are. And me too. Well, it, it, I, I, it really surprised me when you called, but I'm so glad that you did. I actually and thank you. And I love that. all of you and the things that you do for other people. And just, like I said, keep on keeping on. I actually think this is one of the most, one of the beautiful things to have an audience that loves you, yes, and that that uh -huh. looks forward to hearing you, I just think that's... you do. I, I look. I think well. Friday, Miss Helen's coming on, so you know, and then then on Tuesdays, and then I'm about to catch on when you two are live, you know. And it's just it's some like fulfilling to me, and I look forward to it. I stay at home a lot, so yes, ma'am. When I'm at home, you're all with me. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Me and Stephen love you. We sure do. We well, uh, love you too. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Yes, ma'am. You have a beautiful day, and and thank you for uh, participating in the day show. Well, 
Oh, I loved it. So <laughs> just love you guys. Yes, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, ain't it beautiful, y'all? If you want to call, hey, I seen Ellen say, Stephen's calling everybody. Hey, I'm going right down, <laughs> I'm going right down the list. There's a list right here. Let me try this. Hey, y'all. It Y'all know who it is? He's got a chopper, y'all. It got fire on the gas tank. Like, really worth a lot of money. He don't ever ride it. I'm going to go over there and get it one day and borrow it. Right over to Monique's house in Sweden. If I can figure out how to get across the ocean. Yeah, Evan's got a full-fledged chopper. It ain't no halfway. It's one of them like them like the low rider movie. Your call cannot be completed as done. Hmm. Let's see. Jenny Jane, what you doing today? I ain't heard you talking about tea time yet. Hey, Monique, I've tried what you said. You know, dial eight and wait. Jenny Jane got a chopper, too. I knew y'all was rich. A Red Bull. Hey, I, I drunk one out here the other day. One of them drinks Stevens had. Man, that thing had my had me churning, boy. Uh, man, I ain't joking. See, I, I ain't used to drinking that stuff. That thing had my insides like wanting to jump. Yeah. Stephen loves them. Your call cannot be... When Stephen was out here... Nothing uh, more aggravating than this. You know, cleaning the side of the yard up here, y'all. He said he was drinking Red Bulls that day. <laughs> said he's wanting to jump something other. Your call cannot be. Yeah, it's not working, Monique. Skip to zero before this seven, maybe. Monique gonna be got mad if she can't get on this call now. Because, uh, that's what the title is, y'all. Yeah, hey, we had Monique on there for just a few seconds, but, like, they was, they was the biggest delay you ever seen, and we was trying to, like, just call directly to her phone. And, but we, you know, just, we, we can't call her, and she can't call us, we can't, we can't figure out how to do it. Your call cannot be... All we know is it can't be completed. And I sent her our number. So Meek's the one, Monique's the one dropping the ball. So y'all I done bought so many spinners on eBay. I can take all my spinners that I got right now and just throw them in the trash can and just have all brand new spinners. <laughs> hey, Monique, uh, it ain't working. I know you said dial eight first and wait for the dial tone to change, but we, uh, when you dial eight on these cell phones, it, ain't, it don't have a dial tone. It ain't like a house phone. If you had a house phone, it would work, but... We don't have a house phone. All right. <coughs> Let's see. What about you, Ellen? We need to call you sometime now. Ellen lives life in the fast lane. 
I seen her say she she had a Harley. Good morning. Good morning. What you gotta tell us who this is? Who do you want? <laughs> oh. This is Connie. Miss Connie. <laughs> Where are you from, Miss Connie? I'm in Tennessee. Oh, we getting Tennessee love today, ain't we? Yep. I remember, I remember Miss Connie. She's the one that blasted her landlord out on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Connie who? Well, as long as you remember me, I guess that's all that matters. Connie Moore. Connie she, Moore. Yeah. On chat, Connie Moore. She was the lady that the landlord built the steps that was dangerous. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's who that is. That be me. I seen them steps he built. <laughs> He spun about $5, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, if that, I think he got them from the dump. Oh, goodness. All I know is I messed up a show the first thing at night trying to go down them darn steps. Oh, that ain't good. How close yeah. do you live to Elvis? To what? Elvis. Oh, too far. I ain't never been there. You ain't, Why not? Well, I don't travel too much. My vehicle stays broke down. I stay broke down. You know how it is. I believe if I lived in Tennessee, I believe I'd ride by Elvis's house. <laughs> 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 he don't. You can't do that for wrestling being on TV, can you? Right. <laughs> do, do you no, like? No, can't, can't do that for the Hodges being on YouTube. What are you talking about? <laughs> do you do you like to watch midget wrestling too? No, hey, I'm a midget myself, so no, I don't like watching them. Oh. I'm I'm not a midget. I feel like one. So, how, so how tall are you? Five four on a good day. Oh, about the size of Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lordy. I kind of like me and Tammy take pictures because I look like the Tower of Power. Yeah. Cause, just because she's so short. Yeah. Yeah, you look like you're pretty tall. Well, I ain't real tall, but I'm tall yeah. enough. Well, you ain't too short neither. Oh, he's tall. They call me Tree Top Lover. That's what Tammy calls me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I answered the phone sounding like a man. I kind of do that, so when scammers call, I can just hang up. They don't know who they talk to. That was you? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> hey, I, I like done thinking. I like thinking we done calling the wrong person. Hey, Connie, I thought I was the only one done that. No, I do that too. So people don't know who I am when I answer the phone. <laughs> when I answer the phone, sometimes I'm like, "Yes, buddy." What do you yeah, doing? I start. I started to holler, "Hey, Connie!" But I'm like, "Nah." <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, Mama's, uh, Tammy's 4'11". That's right, she is. There's one calling me the other day, and I can't tell you what I told her I was trying to do to the chicken. And she she was talking, and, and I said, did you hear what I said? And I heard her cut. She was saying it was being recorded. And I heard her cut her speaker off and then start talking, laughing. <laughs> she said I needed that today. <laughs> I know it's wicked sitting here on the phone with y'all, and I'm sitting here looking at the video, but the video is muted, and it, that's what's kind of weird. Hey, you can go back and hear it, though. I will. Yeah, you can, and you can also go, you know, a little later on today, the chat will be on there, so you, yeah. can, you can actually see the live chat, but it'll be a little while before it shows up. Yeah. How, how's your sweet granddaughter doing? Oh, she's doing okay. She's not coming around much anymore. She started staying up at my daughter's with uh, a little girl that they have, and I don't get to see her much. Hey, you may be surprised, but ain't it Rylan? Raylan? Mm-hmm. See there? Raylan. Raylan. See there? Yeah. Steven's got a photographic memory, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. he, can, yeah. he, can, 
he can even remember how to start his videos on time, but uh, <laughs> I said, boy, what was you doing? He come walking in there about 10 o'clock, tell me what we're going to do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and we was trying to figure out how to make everything work, too. So that, it took us a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, it was good talking to y'all. I'm going to hop off here so y'all can call somebody else. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Connie. Thank you for participating, and we love you, Connie. Uh, we, I love y'all. We listen to me here. I'm sitting here answering the phone like a man thinking there's two people here, and it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I love y'all, too, and thank y'all for keeping me company. Yes, thank you, Miss Connie. Have a blessed day. <laughs> y'all, too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, so she, she pranked us. Hey, she fooled me now. I know. Who do you want to talk to? <laughs> she sounded like a bouncer at the dance hall. Who do you want to talk to? And Stephen started laughing. She knew who it was. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's try this. Who in the world keeps calling me on the computer? Who you think? Hello. Let's try this. Hello. Hey. Hey! Is that the wild woman from Sweden? Uh, yeah. It is. All right. So good to hear from you. Can you? Is it caught up this time? Well, I took it on my iPad. I. So. Hey, hey, my neck. See if you can get a little closer to the speaker. I can't. Coming closer, closer. If I get closer, I'll be. Hold on my iPad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hold the speaker up here. Yeah, I, I am as close as I can be, Danny. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's so quiet. <laughs> and you made sure you had all the volume cut up. The volume's up. Yeah, I have the volume up as much as I possibly can. Find that laptop this way just a little bit. What about that? Yeah. Little? Okay, can y'all hear me neat? Wait, it got better. I don't see nothing. No. Wait, that's it. it. Don't do nothing. That's it. Wait, it got better. Okay. Oh Is it okay? <laughs> Monique. Don't it? Yeah. Did you used to live in Las Vegas? No. Did you just put that on there to throw all the men off? Yeah. When when you got a name like Monique, you have to do that, don't you? Well, the thing is, I only want people that I like to know where I live. I don't want a lot of idiots. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's why I put it there. Like, don't mess with it. It was working good. Like, it was like, it got quieter when you picked it up. Oh, that's why I put it there. Yeah. But, no, I ain't never even been to the United States. Never been? Hey, that makes two. I ain't never been to Sweden. No, exactly. I've been to Australia, and I've been to England, and I've been to Holland, but I've never been to the United States. Me and Stephen wanted to come to Sweden, but we ain't got no money. Oh, I'm not a millionaire when it comes to money, so otherwise I bought your ticket. <laughs> oh, I hear you. But it's the yeah. thought that counts. Yeah. Like, I, I usually tell people I thought about buying you a Christmas present, but it's the <laughs> thought that counts, you know? Exactly. That is absolutely true, though. Absolutely true. So. Monique, you have a beautiful voice. Thank you. <laughs> Monique, you got you got me and falling in love with you all over the United States. <laughs> no, of course not. You know that. <laughs> I will go to Monique, but I don't know I don't know the directions. No. Oh, you are so welcome to come, but you you better bring your wife. Hey, Monique, somebody's telling me to take the RV. 
But I don't I don't know the directions. No. Well, you can't drive it under the water anyway, can you? That's right. <laughs> but you are so welcome if you bring Tammy. I just funnin' with you, Monique. Yeah, I know. I know that. I know. I gonna go see you one. Got, I'm gonna go. We gonna go see some of these women we called in that's in the United States. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like to pull people's legs. I know that. Yes, yeah, man. He he keeps it interesting. I know. He makes it funny, eh? Hey? <laughs> now, now tell the truth. Now, when I said you was mad standing up in the living room, like telling the neighbor to leave, was that true? <laughs> there is no neighbor coming here, especially not when I'm watching the hobbies. Because yeah. I would, I would do that then if they did come and disturb me. You know, I have, I have my time. Nobody better not disturb me when I'm watching your lights. Because I get pissed off. Yes, I do. So, no. I, I, have, I have my, my holy time, and that is watching you, your grandma, and I have Rachel, of course, but that's in the middle of the night, so that's okay. Nobody comes here in the middle of the night. Yeah. Because they better not. Well, I love the wreath uh, you and Rachel sent grandma. It was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, well, Rachel is really good at doing them, mate. She's great. Fantastic, to be honest. I couldn't do it like that. So, Monique, what do you do? How many boyfriends you got? Say again? How many boyfriends you got? I don't have no boyfriends. Don't tell me that. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's true, though. Huh? I don't have no boyfriends. No boyfriend. No. Our keto way, hey, call in. Send your number, we'll call you. No, I don't have no boyfriend. I don't have no boyfriend. you got to have a boyfriend. Well, I need to find one that is good enough then. Hey, that might be pretty tall now. Yeah, that is tall. I have, I have some, so, you know, I, I do that I want them to be like. And that's hard to find. Hey, that might be oh, yeah. Mm hmm They need to be nice, sweet, and um, caring, loving, have Any, humor. Anything nice and sweet and caring and all that, send a picture of the boat. <laughs> 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 yep. And, I mean, the ones that are like that, they are real already taken most of them aren't they or they don't fucking live here oh, sorry <laughs> or they don't live here that's the problem ain't it yep and i have i have more friends over there than i have here so i i live in the wrong country don't i believe a neat would definitely judo chop somebody <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Stephen. I don't. Tr I never trained you, though. Taekwondo. That is what I've done. Taekwondo. Taekwondo. Mm -hmm. It's kind of karate, but not really. But it's the same kind of stuff. Monique, how, yeah. do, you, how do you read the chat and watch the video at the same time? Well, the thing is, I read the chat more than I watch the video, and then I watch the video after. Oh, okay. Because uh, I need to keep an eye on the bad people. Well, you've been doing a good job, I can tell you that. Because I can't handle that when they are nasty towards anyone of you. I know you that, don't let, they ain't, they don't nothing get by you. I know that much. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I can't tolerate that. Nobody is nasty towards my Georgia family. Mm -mm. Not on my watch down. Monique, sometimes I, sometimes I get the mouse in my hand and go up there to, the, uh, to, to put somebody in the jailhouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I come five minutes too late. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, well, I keep a, a hawk eye on, on the chat, to be honest. Because I can't stand it. And I, I can't see, you know, when, when Grandma gets so sad. When people yeah, are yeah, airplanes, ain't it? Yeah, I mm -hmm. know yeah. that. We got and I, I, can't, I can't handle when I see Grandma getting so sad. I can't handle it. It blows it my, my fuse. I get so angry. Well, Nate, what you cooking for dinner? Well, you know, uh, it's way past dinner time here in Sweden. You know? What you cooking for supper? Uh, you know, us well, American people, we love to eat, you know. Yeah, well, frankly, I'm not cooking nothing, because I, I eaten before today around, I don't know, before 4 o'clock, uh, before you started your life. Oh, okay. I had I had something then, and uh, well, that's enough for me. I don't, I don't eat that much. Hey, that's the way Grandma I'm eats. Grandma just snacks. You don't really eat. Nah, I'm not, I'm not uh, American, so I don't eat that much. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we like over here in America? You like eating. We like hamburgers. Yeah, I know, and I don't even eat hamburgers. Oh man. Mm. Well, unless I do them myself, of course. I can do that. If I make them myself, I can eat them, yeah. You know how many hamburgers we eat in a week's time? Nah. All of them. <laughs> All of them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, I, I don't do that. But I have to say, your corn dog looks kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we, Monique, we eat our share of them. Yeah. I never, I never had one because we don't have them here. But then again, it's a lot of stuff we don't have here that you have over there. So I, I live in the wrong country. Christ! I tell you what, Monique, tell everybody watching what, uh, what I mailed to you, and tell us what it means to you. Oh, you send me a cross that you made, and uh, it means the world to me. I have it in my bedroom, it's lying next to my bed, and every time I go to bed, I take my cross, I kiss my cross, and I hold it in my hand all night long. Oh, and then I kiss it in the morning and put it on my nightstand until I need it next night. That's what I do. Oh, and I have the little one. And, and the little one that you also sent, that took me a while to find because I'm kind of blown. <laughs> <laughs> that one is in my TV. Monique, what did I? I assume you don't work no more. Nah. What did you used to do for a living? Everybody wants to know about you, Monique. I used to work at the indoor zoo. What's that? In indoor zoo, we had crocodiles and uh, monkeys and. Um, An indoor slot. zoo. Indoor yeah. zoo. Yeah. They loved your voice there, didn't they? Hey? They loved your voice there, didn't they? Well, the animals did anyway. <laughs> I bet I bet you didn't seen the crocodile Dundee movie about a hundred times, hadn't you? Oh yes I have. <laughs> Me too. I have I love Crocodile Dundee. Not so much for him, but for, for the scenery. I love I love Australia. I absolutely love Australia. I, I'm totally into nature. I love nature. I love animals, and it's a lot of it down there. Yeah, but do you do you love Stephen? Oh, of course, I love Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> I just messing with you, there, man. I, I, I kind of thought everybody knew that. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's always nice to hear. Well, I I love it, the whole family. Thank you, Monique. And I love I love you and Tammy, and I definitely love Greg. Well, we want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching and being a subscriber and a moderator and, and just a beautiful person at heart. And and people like you, Monique, is is, is exactly why we do what we do. Well, Monique, you I guys. don't. Monique, I don't think there's a single person on in this room here. We got over 400. I don't think there's a single person in here that don't know you. 
I don't know. Well, at least they've seen my name. Yeah. They, hey, how'd you like to video the letter? Oh, absolutely beautiful. And yes, I cried, okay? I did, because it touched everybody's heart. I, I, like, cried, oh, I cried too, but I told Timmy I had something in my eye. Yeah, well, it's nothing wrong with crying, even if you are a man, Danny. That's, that's <laughs> very manly, very manly. A macho man can cry. I can't even try to hold mine back when it hits me. I know. I know. And that is the beauty. So I see Miss Holly, Miss, Miss Holly Clemens is in the chat right now. You know, that's yeah. the one that her, yeah. Elizabeth wrote the letter about, Miss Holly. I, I know. I know. No, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful letter. And it touched everybody's heart, I, I believe. You hear how she's talking in the things playing in the background yeah a oh, man can't do that i don't uh -uh. know how she's pulling that off staying <laughs> concentrated but a man we i can't talk and listen and there's two things going on i wouldn't be able to follow well you know women can do two things at the same time yeah y'all Mul superheroes I know. yeah multitasking is called <laughs> No, you, 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 your whole family are actually making people better. You have made my life better. You uh, have made me a better person, for sure. John said he cried when old Yellow died. Did you cry, Monique? Say again? John said he cried when old Yellow died. I don't even know what that is. Old Yellow is a, is a movie. And, and like, I, uh -huh. definitely, I definitely cried. Okay, I haven't seen it, so I can't say. I'm not a movie person, see, so. You, you're more like spinning wheels and karate person. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I, I do like Christmas movies. I love Christmas movies. But I prefer to watch documentaries. Oh, yeah. 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 And that, them can make me cry sometimes, definitely. Monique, I, I like to watch them jungle Movies where they mm -hmm. got where they got the women over there that ain't got no shirt on. No, uh huh? I can understand that. Yeah. They, mm -hmm. Yeah, and they got they got they got the huts all around there and everything. Mhm. Mm <laughs> mm -hmm. Nah. I like documentaries about you know back in the yesteryears and um, right. documentaries about animals, of course. Because I love animals, I love that nature, so I like to watch documentaries about that. Charlotte. And you have a lot of, like you know, this this um, what do you call it? Parts um, uh, like Yellowstone and stuff like oh, that. Oh yeah. Over there that I would love to see. Because you have a lot of beautiful places over there. Oh yeah. Well, and I, I was watching something on, on YouTube the other night, and it was this guy, he's actually catching snakes in Georgia, and Georgia is very beautiful. Beautiful people, beautiful country, uh, beautiful county, or whatever you call it, or their state, maybe. Yeah, it's a state, Monique. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you they, have that. there's some states that's real good, like that Tennessee's real good. Got a question mm -hmm. here for Monique. What is your favorite color, Monique? Red. Red? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then again, it could be yellow. It depends. Because be yellow, yellow makes you happy. Yellow is a happy color. So, the, the, a lot of colors are nice, but my, my absolute favorite is red. Yeah. Red. Yeah, it's a happy yeah. Monique, we're going to try to get about one or two more calls in. Yes, you do that. Yeah, are you going to Are you going to join us again? Of course I am. Do, of course do, I am. I have you on the phone. I hear you. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going nowhere before you. Is it odd if I call you up sometime and say it's me again, Margaret? Say again? Is it okay if I call you up and say it's me again, Margaret? Yeah, well, my name is not Margaret. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Okay, Monique, we love you very much, and everybody in chat loves you too, I think. I love you too, all you guys. So you take care and, and be safe, okay? Yes, ma'am. You have a beautiful day, and thank you for yeah. calling. You. And I'm going to watch you now. So go ahead, call somebody else, eh? All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 So I seen somebody just a second ago that was had sent their number. I'm looking at it right here. Yep. Let's see about it. Hey, that Monique's sweet, ain't she? I've heard, I've heard Stephen talking to her on the phone one time. Uh. we go y'all hello well good morning good morning oh good morning who we got here it's pamela vargas miss pamela i just seen your message there miss oh, wait pamela. a minute i think i got your video playing in the background okay okay hold on okay i got that off I guess it's just uh, your, I don't know, reverb from the video. Oh, okay. Anyway, good morning, good morning. How are y'all? Oh, we have a beautiful day here in hey, Georgia. It, yeah, it's wonderful. All you, right. You know what I think, it, Pamela? What? I, I think we need to get Shirley Nash on here and let her tell us about how to get a man back in 24 hours. Oh, no, that'd be, that'd probably be a trick. Because <laughs> usually when the man's gone, it's because he got a heavy boot in the uh, first place. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, not always. <laughs> well, that's a, Shirley's got a story now. Oh, okay. I, I've, I don't heard, think... I've heard it before. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not sure I've heard it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that might be that might be one of the videos I need to watch the replay on. I can't imagine that I even haven't watched every replay. <laughs> well, you you suppose to like let it play when you're laying down in the bed. You turn it down to where it's legally you saying yes. I'm I am listening. You know who Miss Pamela is. Oh, uh, yeah, Miss Pamela. She's the one that I sent the birdhouse to that designed it for Grandma and mailed it back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not the other. That's what's confusing is that there is another Pamela, which is real odd to me because I rarely hear anybody refer to themselves as Pamela. So you didn't do the birdhouse? No, I did do the birdhouse. Oh, well, then there we go. Yeah. Miss yeah, family, I you did. know, you know what we got to do. What's that? We got to keep, we got to keep everybody from changing their name. <laughs> well, you know what I did was, at one time, you know, I you helped me, but I didn't know that you could get your photograph on YouTube. So I went and changed my photo, my YouTube profile. So you got my photograph. Uh huh. So now when you see my photograph, you know who I am. We see pretty long blonde hair is what we see. Oh, blonde hair. Well, thank you, sir. It's not blonde. It's like old lady gray. <laughs> <laughs> like when you in the grocery store, all the men be aggravating you. <laughs> no, because you know what? I try, I try not to get dressed up as... As often as I used to. Oh, Lord. Yeah. But, you know, when, you, when you're when you in the business of uh, selling uh, makeup, you got to put that face on once in a while. Oh, okay. yeah. And, <laughs> and, and Tammy hates that worse than anything. The what? Tammy hates putting makeup on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love, I love facial enhancement. <laughs> Well, I wish you could hear where you could do a demonstration on Stephen. Yeah, I, 
I need, oh. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. I wake up and I'm just what it is. Yeah. Well, you know, men don't. That's the glory about being a man. I personally think that men, they just get better as they get older. <laughs> That's I what mean, I was thinking about the women. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I, 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 I've, you know, but, I've said that before, but I, I don't actually think y'all believe me, but I don't. I pref- I prefer to look at older women. Well, you know when like, when a gentleman starts to age, and uh, there's something just uh, beautiful about their aging wrinkles. Hey, that's Not, what I, that's what I thought about the women. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Lord! I said my aging wrinkles look like a piece of leather you leave out in the sunshine too long. <laughs> you know, I seen I seen. Lynn Burns picture. She said she wished she still looked like that. She she it was an old picture. Uh-huh. But but uh you know, I, I I commented under there that she does still look like that. Yes, because you see through the outer layers. Yeah, I mean yeah, you can look at her pictures of today and uh-huh. and, and that picture is Lynn Burns all day long. Yes, Both yes. Pictures. I know that as a child, my parents were very strict in my upbringing. So I look at my childhood pictures, and, um, well, quite honestly, if you just switched out the clothes, I think I look like a little boy. <laughs> so as I got older and had more freedom, I think I literally, I think I, I aged better. It didn't take the boys long to figure it out, though, did it? (laughs) Well, it was kind of hard because I grew up in the North, and I I always wanted to be a hockey player. So the honest truth is I even skipped school to play hockey. But uh, (laughs) I always wanted to be a hockey player. I didn't want to be a figure skater. So literally, in order to make some of the teams – I had to wear boys' clothes so, they didn't know, <laughs> so that they didn't know I was a girl because just based on the fact that I was a girl, they didn't want me to play on their team. Did you actually but, pull that off? Oh, yeah, a lot. Dang. A lot. I, I, Yeah, I played, well, back when I was a kid in the 60s and 70s, we didn't have indoor ice rinks. We played outdoors on the lakes and the frozen ponds. Oh, the rebel. A rebel. Yeah. Man. Yeah. We played outdoors because we, you know, we, growing up in the north, we didn't have, uh, we had a lot of access to ponds. And then in the winter, my dad and my neighbors, they'd all get together and we had an open field. And the dads would build this pond you know surround it with two by fours and then fill it with water so we had yeah we had a a skating a little skating pond in the back but some of those boys weren't too good so i had to (laughs) i had to find my way to a pond sometimes i'd walk literally when you hear about walking through the snow sometimes i'd walk three or four miles to get to a game have you got any pictures of the of you in the hockey suit? No, because back then they didn't have all that hockey stuff. You just put long underwear, five pairs of socks, and a whole bunch of clothes on. <laughs> so, because it, it it's freaking cold in Michigan. <laughs> hey, that's that's what I hear. It gets when it gets cold, it's cold, ain't it? Yeah, and it's cold. It's cold from about November to. Well, their leaves are dropping now, but it's cold from November till about, well, you'd be lucky to be able to put your Easter Sunday shoes on because it stays cold. Oh, yeah. Let me ask you a question. I heard you yeah. talk about the five pairs of socks. You know, it gets, it. you know, we go hunting. And it gets, oh, yeah. re- it, it do get cold down here like in the morning. You know, when it gets we ain't had too many yeah. bad winters lately, but sometimes it like can be seventeen degrees. What do you do oh, to yeah. keep your feet warm? Yeah. 
Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, when I go out, I wear, um, I like to wear those uh, fleece-lined water boots. You know, like with the, um, well, more like a duck boot. They're fleece-lined. They're called duck back. Yes, yeah. And I like to wear those because, you know, it keeps your foot a little bit warmer. But that those new socks, they got those water-wicking socks. Oh, they yeah. they'll they keep your feet warm too, oh. but um, I've I've always been a ground hunter. I don't have a tree stand. Well, let me you ask know. you this. Right. Let me ask you this now, cause I I mean I ain't joking. Somebody told me like, you don't want your feet to start sweating. Is that true? Well, yeah, but when you got those uh, wicking socks on, it, it, they seem to absorb it. Danny, honestly, I'm telling you, when your feet are cold, they're just damn cold. I know you can't. You know what? You, I mean, that'll make you get down out of the tree stand. When right. When your feet get cold, the party's over. It don't matter what you do. That's number five airplane for today. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. Can, can we get an update on Glenn? Yes. Um, he is home, and we start uh, reviewing. Um, with the doctors that did take care of him in the hospital. And then um, we'll go from there. But basically, um, we're not sure where the blood clot came from. But something oddly happened over, well, since he took his um, two things. Since he took his COVID shot and since he started... Uh, his treatments for prostate cancer Dang. and for the, and for the first time in his life his cholesterol was way high and his sugar went way high so yeah. we're thinking that's what caused the clot so now we're on a for the first time in his life he's on a makes it kind of hard but he's on a sugar diet and a cholesterol diet so oh, you know wow. That doesn't leave you much, you know. There's a lot of a lot of regulation on what you can and can't eat. But next, we're just gonna go doctor to doctor and try to get it all back to normal. And of course, he's got lung damage and heart damage from the blood clot that went to his lungs. So oh, no. he's doing good. Um, getting around on a walker. Um, he took his own shower this morning. Of course, I kept peeking in there. But, um, yeah, he's doing good. We're blessed. Yes, ma'am. But we sure but, are all blessed. Yes, yes, what's, we are blessed. What's the highest? I heard Grandma the other day talking about the snow in the north. Uh, somebody told her, what's the highest you've ever seen the snow on your house? Well, when I was a kid... We had a basement, and then we had our one-story house. So with drifting, I've seen snow drifts get to the roof of the one-story house. Why? What, 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 what in the world do y'all do? <laughs> yeah. Well, basically, uh, my daddy used to have to get out, and we used to have to get him to the train at, every morning at 4. So we would have to get out and dig our way. We kept a snow shovel in the front, you know, in the house, and wow. we would have to we would have to dig ourselves out to get to the garage, and then dig out the garage all the way to the street, and hope the snow plow didn't come down. See, because the snow keeps packing down in the street. Wow. When, and sometimes the layer of snow will be as high as what. You, you know, like when y'all go to town and the curb height. Yes, ma'am. Sometimes the ice gets that high with Ugh. the snow machines drop. You know, they keep going over it. They clear off the top layer, but the ice I forms can, on I it. can tell you this from here in Georgia. When we get one inch of snow, they can't nobody here drive. There's people everywhere you look in the ditch. And you can't find a loaf of light bread. <laughs> You're right. The milk's gone. The bread's gone. Like we're going to be snowed in for a week. 
that, that's how it is with the tornado. I have four tubs of food that I, uh, for the hurricane season, and I, I literally fill those tubs up and keep recycling out of the tubs because, man, you four days before a projected hurricane, you don't want to be in a grocery store. <laughs> Did you know that? Did you know that uh, in Florida, it don't get cold there. John Ray said toilet paper's gone. Yeah. What you want? Yeah. To drink? yeah everybody, I got something to drink. Everybody goes crazy. Everybody goes crazy here. Like if they just threatening, like that it might snow. Right. I'm right. Talking, I'm talking about including my wife. Uh, she'll come and have to, She'll come and back the car up to the steps. And like we toting in stuff for two and a half hours. Right. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't do yeah. that. Do, y'all don't do that, do you? No, for cold, I wouldn't worry about it. Like I said, I, I've got three weeks of food in tubs. I'm not going out for nothing. Yes, but man. um yeah, it's it's absolutely insane. And when COVID came hit and everything was shutting down, good lord, people were in lines for hours. Hours. I get know. Some. You know that that's tough for us. You know it, they did not a lot a lot change in Georgia, but I do know that they was uh, in other cities and all kind of stuff. You know that they like was on lockdown. Like couldn't even. You know, like against the law, and there ain't even no law <laughs> to go outside. Oh, that's right. <laughs> A law that doesn't exist, but yeah. somebody puts it. In, somebody puts it. Well, and then there's then there's other laws that exist, and everybody ignores that. Oh yeah, they get around that somehow. You know, it ain't no fun if you don't break the law. Sometimes, you know. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Pamela, <laughs> I tell you a true story. It happened to me when it snowed here. I made a snowman. But I made it so big, you have to understand. I, I had a the the bottom snowball was big as a Volkswagen. It, it, was, <laughs> it was so big I couldn't roll it anymore. And, right. And we had it. We was at somebody's house and they lived in a trailer park. And that big snowball was in the road, and. <laughs> Like the the circle around and I, we couldn't move it and somebody called the law. The law come up there and said oh, goodness. said that we had thirty minutes to get that out of the road or we was gonna be in trouble. You know, Stephen. <laughs> at first, Stephen told him the man over yonder done it. Yeah, man, come Sounds out. Sounds about right. <laughs> I guess Stephen must have looked guilty. We had to get the we had to get the car and like push it out of the road with the car. Oh goodness. Where was that at, Steve? Right there across from Griffin. Well you lived there? No, we was at David's. Oh. And, and it snowed out there. I'll tell you my brush with the law and snow. When I was a kid we used to get up, get real excited at throwing snowballs at cars that were trying to get down the road. So uh, my little next door neighbor's mom always kept her uh, storm doors, the glass storm doors unlocked. And so one day we were, we were throwing snowballs at cars and I can't believe it. The man had the guts to get out of the car and he started running after us. So we ran around the back of that house, and then we ran right through her house. <laughs> <laughs> and she called the cops. She called somebody just came in my house, and she didn't know we'd gone out the front door. So we <laughs> ran We ran around, and we hid behind one of those giant snow drifts. Then we saw police cars coming down the street. And we were like, oh, my God. Well... Somebody, I don't know who it was, I think it was my little friend, was up on the second floor, and she saw us behind the snow drifts. And that big old cop came and dragged us out. <laughs> and from that point on, we realized you cannot be outside throwing snowballs. So, 
So we waited because my bedroom window was on the front half of the house. And the first time I threw a snowball out the window, I hit my dad's car. Let me tell you, the whelps on my butt didn't heal for a long time. And I never threw a snowball at a car again. Let me tell Stephen something. Mean. Hey, I'm trying to motion to him. He don't know what I'm talking about. Hold your phone up where I can make you thumbnails, huh? It's pointing toward the camera. I can't. It shows the number. Well, well I, that's okay. There you go. Okay. I'm sitting here watching Monarch Butterflies. Yeah. I got it. All right. Well, Pamela, it was great talking with you today. Good talking with you, too. And I tell you, y'all, I don't care what anybody says. You're a beautiful family, and you just keep doing your own thing, and don't let all those haters bring you down. Poor Miss Helen was so upset yesterday. She was trying to avoid everything by running to her chickens. You know... You know, me and Monique was right before fitting to go to their house, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you all don't need to go that far. Let me tell you, everybody on your page will sandblast them a new one, and they'll they'll be gone. That's right. So, that's right. All right. Y'all don't have to worry. You just keep on doing whatever y'all do. Oh, we certainly will. It's a beautiful will. thing. And like I said in my post, YouTube and Facebook needs more loving families to step up and show what they do in real life instead of all the ugly movies we watch right. and and all of the sadness. The news you see every day about abusive husbands or abusive mothers, ugly divorces in the uh, whatever's going on, but you don't see them doing the right thing. Sometimes I don't know what the world's going to. Sometimes I feel like I'm living in a twilight zone. Yeah. That's true. But the thing about it is, it's, it's, we got to stop thinking about what's going on out there in the twilight zone and pay more attention to what's going on in our loving families. Because... I ain't got time for the twilight zone. Y'all can, I'm consumed with this right here. <laughs> That's right, Stephen. That's right. Just keep on, keep on trucking, kiddo. That's right. It was beautiful hearing from you, Miss Pamela. I got two more people here waiting. Good. I'm gonna go on my live and watch it. Good deal, with Pamela. You. We love you. We oh, thank you. you. We love you over here too. All right. You have a beautiful afternoon. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ain't she sweet? Yeah, yeah. she's pretty good conversationist, too. We might, yeah. have to, we might have to fly her down here. Let's see. Oh. Man, we need Grandma up here, don't we? We can't never get her to do nothing. All right. Next. Oh, goodness. Hello? Hello, you live on the show. Lord. <laughs> Who do we got here? My name is Jamie Robinson. Jamie? Yes. It's so good to hear from you. Tell us about you. Well, I live in northwest Alabama. I am raising grandbabies. I hear you. Raising grandbabies. That's, hey, I'm glad you got you grandbabies. That's a beautiful thing. That's a blessing. Ain't that a good life? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. That. Keep you, keep you going. <laughs> I'm working yeah. on Stephen's thumbnail here, but tell us a little bit about yourself. A little bit. But a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
Well, I'm a, well, I was born and raised in Alabama, but I have Georgia roots. My dad is from Springfield, Georgia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Question, and, of, the, question of the day. Yeah. Not, not to cut you off, but we still trying to find somebody to eat a corn dog. A corn dog? Yeah. <laughs> Look, my grandbabies live on corn dogs. I mean, if you can't go to the dirt track race and buy a corn dog and nachos, like, we going to have to change your life. Look, we got a dirt track down here, and they sell <laughs> barbecue nachos. And, yeah, we eat corn dogs and nachos around here. Hey, barbecue nachos, now you stepping up in the world. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. When I go to the beach, the what, two or three times a year that I go, uh, I look for barbecue nachos. Well, they down here at our dirt track, they make them, and there's, we've got a bunch of barbecue places that have them around here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Carla P. said, am I the only one who has never ate a corn dog? <laughs> hey, we joke about corn dogs on the show all the time, but I don't eat them as much as y'all think. Well, they don't know what they're missing. I know, especially when they're deep fried like that. Yeah. Or you go to a carnival or a festival and they're homemade and they're bigger than normal corn dogs. You're talking about a foot long now. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> you know what really, you know what Stephen really likes to eat, don't you? Know what? I can't tell you. Oh. <laughs> Lord. I thought it was going to be something imported again. But it's something to do with a cow. Lord, have mercy. And don't tell me it's mountain oysters. <laughs> yeah. No, that's <laughs> That's what he loves. That's Daddy's favorite. <laughs> He's like Forrest Gump. He like them fried, boiled, sauteed, diced. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> yeah. So, how many grandbabies you got? Well, I have a total of, if it's not have, it would be a total of 10, but there's two that have passed away, but I have got custody of two of my grandkids, my daughter's babies, and I have three children, two boys and one girl, and I babysit the youngest twins, little boy, while they work. Aww. And they're expecting their second baby in April. Oh, lots so of no naps around there, then, is it? No, I told them all to go. They both need. They all needed a. I needed a nap, and then they said, <laughs> "Well, we don't want a nap." I was like, "Well, that's what I figured." Oh goodness! I, hey, that's. I know. Hey, I had four kids. I still have four kids, but like I remember them days, and it was. It was always interesting. I loved it. Yeah, they keep you on your toes, that's for sure. They've got older, and, and they in college, and, and I still got little man here, but we we fish, and we we live ten lifetimes together. Yeah. So how long have you been watching the show? Well, I'm a newbie. I've been watching it for about two months. I start, yeah, I started with your grandmother, who reminds me of my grandmother so much it ain't even funny. Oh. I mean, and um, then I started watching the drum thing, and then you. So you watched the concerts? Yes. Oh, that's sweet. Do you get up and start dancing? No, but my granddaughter does. <laughs> Because every time she hears music, she thinks she has to dance. Me too. <laughs> I, you know what? When I'm sitting there playing them drums, I actually want to dance. Yeah. But you can't You can't do it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. So cool. To, uh, it's, it's so cool to hear everybody's different accent and, like, what they go through in life and how they met. Everybody has a story, and it's so unique. Each story is so unique. Yeah. 
Well, that's like when I used to, when I was lit younger and I go to Georgia to my dad's, everybody around there would call me Bama Boy because I had a Bama accent. And I was like, you know, I, and that's like, their Georgia accents are a whole lot different than ours. They asking who you are. And is Jamie Robertson? Robinson. Robinson. You, I better get that right. You sound like you was about to slap me. No, I w no, I don't slap <laughs> folks. <laughs> well, by God, mystery man does. Do, do you sometimes <laughs> do you sometimes think about it when you're driving to town? Well, it depends on who cuts me off, or you know, I live in a small town, so <laughs> it, it would be hard to reach out and smack somebody. Oh, we cut up about that. We actually ain't never. Uh, we ain't never done that. Uh, there's been a few times I've told them off because they do stick. I mean, people need to learn how to drive. <laughs> yeah. That's like, I live in a very small town, and I can, I've been, I've drove through Atlanta, and I can handle Atlanta better than I can this small town because yeah. they're idiots up here. Yeah. Yeah, they, they're probably driving with it like a chicken box in their lap. It happens. Or cheeseburger. You know where we live at. <laughs> where we live at. Everybody hates to go to Atlanta. And Atlanta, I mean, yeah, it's crazy, but it's. Look, I can drive through Birmingham and Atlanta, but it's just the small towns. They're like idiots around here. They just they don't pay attention to what they're doing. That's what I'm talking about. That, yeah, they wait till you to get close and then pull out. Yeah, and it, then they want to slam on their brakes. They go a hundred yards and then turn to the right. Yep. Did you hear? <laughs> did you hear? Yep. Grandma, did you hear Grandma talking about her driving in Atlanta and it raining? How, why no. is it always raining when you go to Atlanta? I don't know. It, there's a golf course that's, that ain't too far from here, and it, Grandma said it'll rain at that golf course when it don't rain anywhere else. <coughs> Stephen, you better call your last one and let's get on out of here. It's it, so good to hear from you, sweetie. It doesn't get it's to be good to hear from you too. And and we're so glad to have you watching, and and we sure want to thank you. Uh, you're welcome, and I'm I thank y'all for being who y'all are and shining the light on everybody's day. And we want to let you know we love you too. Uh, right. Well, I love y'all too. And, and we 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 glad you come and got on the show. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and, and we also like wanted to know, could I borrow five dollars? Sure. Where do I need to send it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, I I swing by there on my next trip. Uh, yeah, I yeah. have it. I I have it waiting for you. All righty then. <laughs> All right, Jamie. You have a beautiful day. You too. Thank you, ma'am. Bye bye. You're welcome. Bye. Bye bye. <sighs> ain't it? Ain't it pretty? Ain't it pretty? All right. We're kind of getting kind of long here, y'all, so we're going to make one more call. Then I guess you're just going to have to go watch the drum channel. <laughs> here we go. Hello. Well, good morning. Well, good morning. I'm surprised it was my number you called. Why is it? Yes, because I never expected it for my phone number to get through the message. <laughs> well, it did. I had to go to the spam folder. It sent it there, but I found it. <laughs> I'm glad you did. <laughs> uh, who we got today? This is Linda from Texas, originally from North Carolina. North Carolina girl, how does a North Carolina girl wind up in Texas? My ex, who was my husband at the time, was transferred here to uh, Texas to Comanche Peak Nuclear Power Plant Ooh. back in 78, and I've been here ever since, and he's been long gone. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, it's it's really nice to hear from you. How, how long have you been watching the channel? Well, I started watching Miss Helen when she was uh, working with the concrete, making the... Uh, flower pots and bird baths and stuff like that and then i happened to catch her show one time i think you were on it and then i started watching your channel and then you started talking about danny's drum channel <laughs> so i watched the concert a few times too 
Oh, right. Hey, I got a question this we ain't never asked, but you sound like a prime candidate. Uh-oh. <laughs> now, I'm sure you subscribe to Grandma for her concrete work. How do you feel about how her channel's evolved? I think it's fantastic. I've started a channel of my own, and I, I hope mine does half as good as hers has done. Oh, sweet. So we, we, we realize people subscribe for certain things, and and we ain't never asked anybody, like, you know, for what I just asked you. It was, I was just curious. Yeah, I love watching her uh, do the bird baths and the concrete uh, flower pots and different things, and then I started watching your show uh, channel with the bird houses, and I love that, because <laughs> I love bird houses. I love woodwork. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I do, too. I, I like to get out here, and I don't do it no more, but I used to like just get out here, and, and uh, you know, I could have made a video of it, but, like, I just get out here by myself and make bird houses and stuff. I used to. I <laughs> done. <laughs> I've made a couple of them. They, they're not professional looking, but they're bird houses, and they're hanging up, so. <laughs> uh, let me ask you a question, okay? What's that? I've sold so many TV antennas to Texas. Do y'all have cable TV down there, or, or you don't have cable TV? Yeah, I've had cable television for many years here. Oh, I, as many as I sold to Texas, I didn't think nobody, they didn't have cable in Texas. Well, I think cable is so expensive that a lot of people are going back to anything other than paying a cable bill every month. You know, the, because when you get to the place you're paying 150 or 160 dollars a month to watch TV and have internet, that's too much money. Yeah, yeah. and there's people that pay 200. I know it's outrageous. Did you know that every once in a while you're supposed to change uh, providers? And like, yeah, that's what I've been told. A lot of people say, well, every time a company offers a introductory offer that's lower than what I'm paying. They cancel their subscription and go with the new company. Hey, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you know the Kinda people like, that people that that's loyal to the company, them's the ones that get ripped off. Yeah. Yeah, I'd been paying a high premium, and I called one day complaining about it, and I I didn't get the local office on the phone. I got somebody in one of their offices, I think probably in another state, and he said, well. Why haven't you signed up to get your senior discount? I said, well, nobody's told me that I could. <laughs> I said, I've talked to the people here in this main office close to where I live many a time about the price of cable. And I said, they never once mentioned any senior discount. So he, that night, signed me up for that senior discount. I know it. lowered I, my bill to about $125. I want somebody to give me a senior discount once in a while. <laughs> I said, well, do you have to be on welfare and Medicaid and all this stuff to get it? He said, no, it's just a senior discount. He said, <laughs> it's by the government, and anybody that's a senior can get the discount. You can only get it on one thing. You know, you can't get it on several different bills, but you can get it on one. And since I had never had it, he went ahead and put it on my cable bill. So, so, so a little bit helps. <laughs> so uh, are you like me, like trying to figure out how they how they going to get you? Yeah, anytime they can get you, they're going to get you. <laughs> yeah, we just, that's automatically understood. Like, they talking yeah. about, you want a free TV, all you got to do is come get it. Like, <laughs> we don't even get excited, you know. Yeah, you, you got to come get it, and then you got to pay the gift tax on it or something. <laughs> yeah. They told my aunt one time years ago that she won a brand new car. She drove to another state. I don't even remember where it was, but she drove there to pick up her new car that she just won. And she never got that car because they wanted something like six or 7000 in some kind of two different types of taxes for that car. And, of course, she didn't have $6,000 on her or in her bank account, so she didn't get her car. <laughs> I don't think we'd be getting one either. I can tell you two, a true story about me here local. They had a Corvette in the mall, and they did a drawing on, you know, win the Corvette. Yeah. I put my name in it, filled out the card, put my name in it. They called me. 
They said, congratulations, you won the Corvette in the mall giveaway. And I was like, are you kidding? They was like, nope, you was the lucky winner. And I was 17 years old. I won't never forget it. They was getting my information, and they was telling me where I could pick it up at, and then they hit me with the clause. You had to be 18 to qualify. They like, well, have a good day. We'll pick another winner. <laughs> that ain't never got over that. So now I done bought two Corvettes, probably because of that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's enough to make you want to slap somebody for it. That there, was ain't. pretty dirty. I was one I year. Know. I, I mean, my aunt was so mad about winning that car and then couldn't get it that she just stood there and told them off. I mean, she... She just told them off up and down. I mean, it was awful. <laughs> yeah. But she was mad, and I don't blame her. Oh, They could have warned her about it before she went to get it, you know. They could have told her that she had to pay X amount of dollars to pick the car up. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that, is, that is funny. You know, when Stephen takes everybody's address and name, phone number, and all that, he don't let me see the list because I'll be calling him up talking about, it's me again, Margaret. <laughs> I have to I have to keep that. I have to keep Hodges. Uh, I have to keep him away from the address book. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. Uh, I signed up to w this contest one time in the newspaper, but this was back when I was a kid, and I don't think there was any age limit required to even enter it but it was a little form on in the newspaper i filled it out mailed it in and lo and behold i got a phone call they said you're the winner of this sewing machine oh wow and uh, they actually came to my house and delivered that sewing machine and when i saw it it was so cheap looking i said i wouldn't have that <laughs> and the man was so shocked when i told him that he looked at me he says, well, wait a minute. He went back to his van, and he had a, a used sewing machine in his van. And he said, here, I think you'll like this one. And that's the one I got. It had a really pretty cherry wood cabinet. Oh, wow. And it was a universal sewing machine. And, it, I mean, you could look at it and tell that it was a, not a cheap sewing machine. And I got that sewing machine. I mean, it didn't cost me a dime, and they brought it to me. And I said, I couldn't believe that, especially after I told him I wouldn't have the one that he brought me. <laughs> so did you start sewing? Oh, yeah. I've sewed all my life. <laughs> did you know that Grandma can sew? Oh, I'm sure. Hey, Most I... people that are artistic at all can probably sew and do woodworking. and Like she does her concrete uh, pots and bird baths and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. The, the stuff... The stuff that grandma sews, it ain't embarrassing or nothing. It actually looks good. <laughs> well, mine isn't either. I started out as a kid before I even hit my teenage years making my own clothes because I'm like Tammy. I'm a short person. And back when I was, in, you know, just hitting the teenager, they didn't make petite-sized clothes. So my mom usually made my clothes to get them the right length. Because if I bought a dress in the store, it was about two or three inches too long in the waist. That's the way it was. I never did fit right. The pants were always too long. They had to be cut off. So how tall are you? I'm 5'2". <laughs> five, five, two two and, and, and sweet as can be, ain't you? Well, thank you. <laughs> did, did you ever sew your sister's finger? I don't have a sister. Oh. Did you ever sew I've your brother? I've got five brothers. Did you ever sew their finger like Grandma did? Do what? Did you ever sew one of their fingers? You know, Grandma sewed her sister's finger. Oh, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. She got a whipping, too. <laughs> I've never done that, but I've stuck a needle in my fingers many a time trying to sew. Oh. I hated to use a thimble, and I'd stick my finger quite a few times. I could I, I don't think I could sew. The thimbles won't go on mine. <laughs> my pinky is actually about the size of everybody else's finger. There Rubber you go. <laughs> the, me and Daddy both got big hands. Yeah, you'd have to learn how to sew different from what anybody else does. Hey, I can sew now. I, I, well, I sew my, 
I sew my buttons on my britches. <laughs> I tear a button about every other week. Well, it's funny. When I first moved out here to Texas, they said Texas would fall apart if it wasn't for duct tape. <laughs> In yes. Comanche Peak, the, there's a lot of sing, there was a lot of single guys that worked there, and they put in so many hours. If they split their pants or the sole come loose on their shoes, oh, they yeah. didn't have time to go buy a new pair or go get them fixed. They just take duct tape and tape them up and keep going. So, you so do, everybody out there was wearing duct tape. <laughs> do you ever go fishing? Yeah, I went last night and caught two catfish. You did. I mean. Exactly. I mean, I, I cooked them a little while ago, and I ate some home fries and my catfish that I caught. I'm talking about some home fries. Now we talking. <laughs> is is it bigger than the fish Stephen catches? I don't know. I didn't see the fish he caught. <laughs> I caught a bass so big one time. Uh, the guy on the pier where I was fishing here told me, well, they were having a bass tournament that morning, and I went... It was about lunchtime, and they were supposed to turn their fish in, I think, about 9 o'clock that night to weigh in, and I caught that big bass, but it got away. I got it almost up on the pier, and oh, my line man. broke, That's like and I didn't have my dip net with me, and that guy that was there on the pier, he says, oh, my God, lady, he said, you would have put those guys to shame. He said, that bass would have won that tournament. <laughs> I'm telling you, when I'm fishing and you watch any video I'm fishing, I always say, I just want to see him. I just, I mean, like, like it kills me when I lose one. I can't hardly function. You know, that's... I know, I, I lost one last night. <laughs> that's like dreaming about a beautiful woman, and then you wake up every single time. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be pretty bad, I can imagine. Oh, that's terrible. That's the worst. Thing. You like you like try to go back to sleep, but you can't never. You just, just, just wait for the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Hope it happens again. <laughs> yeah. Well, you you have a beautiful laugh. I think it's uh, I think a laugh is infectious, and uh, I think it's a beautiful thing. Well, thank you. I've been told that a lot because I, years and years ago, I used to have a job working on the telephone, calling people all over the United States. It ain't about and car insurance, wanted, is it? No, it was uh, advertising oh, okay. for businesses. <laughs> and I never could, a lot of times, get off the phone because they wanted me to keep talking. They said, oh, I just love to hear you talk. <laughs> I, I do, too. I do, too. I said, well, I should have been paid by the minute. Yeah. Hey, you'd be rich, sale. wouldn't you? That's huh? You'd be rich, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'd be rich if I got paid by the minute to be on the telephone back then. <laughs> we still looking for the guy that, about the standard car warranty. We've been looking for him for years. The standard car warranty? No, the extended car warranty. You know, that he calls everybody. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I actually got the I actually got the extended <laughs> car warranty, but I used Stephen's credit card. And and I you know I'm my truck, I ran over a hole in the road and I want to get new tires and motor and paint job and new seats in there and everything. Think that's on. <laughs> well, before I got the car that I've got now, I had a 2000 Cavalier, and it was 18 years old, and I was getting all these calls from these people and letters too wanting me to renew my extended car warranty, that my warranty was about to run out. And I, mean, I thought like, that was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> like you was driving you a gas saver, wasn't you? Yeah, and, well, the one I've got now, I get just as good as mileage as, you know, I got on the Cavalier. Because I get about anywhere from 30 to 40 miles per gallon, oh, my, depending my, on where I'm hey, driving. That, that's that's good right there. My truck's about nine miles to the gallon. Are oh, you gonna oh get you one? I, I couldn't afford to go anywhere if I was getting that kind of gas mileage. Are you gonna get you one of them electric cars? They cost too much. That's what I was thinking. But I think if every if, if that's all you can get, I guess we'll have to. But I don't know how I'd ever be able to afford one. You know, I think I'd have to get a full time job to get uh, one of them cars. <laughs> <laughs> You know they don't pay that much at the washing machine factory, and what I what I do is, 
it's really a great job. Uh, I stand there and wait for a washing machine to pull up and put the center thing down in there. And then I just stand there and wait for the next one. It's, it's a great job. Pays a lot of money, you know. Oh, God. It's so good. Yeah, so, so, so good to have you on the let, show. Let today. me ask you. Like, uh, what did you do for a living? What did I do for a living? Yeah. I worked in sales a lot before I came to Texas. I worked in electronics. Uh huh. An electronics plant where they, uh, we built condensers and things for TVs, radios, that type of thing. And Anything that needed a small condenser in it. And let me ask you a question. I want you to be honest now. <laughs> okay? Uh oh. <laughs> ain't the men aggravating? Men aggravating? Yeah, well, ain't sometime. the men. They'd be telling me. Uh, you got the most beautiful eyes and everything, and like you turn around and you got sunglasses on. Right. <laughs> I was gonna say they tell you got the most beautiful eyes in the world, and then they don't even know what color they are. Yeah, like <laughs> like they didn't they didn't figure out what they gonna say to you, you know. Right. You know it's a line. <laughs> if if I gotta correct this, if I say somebody's got pretty eyes, I've been been seen the eyes. Uh, I. <laughs> Like I, I'm a detailed person, so like I, I like to look people in the eye when I'm talking. You at least be able to tell them what color they are, huh? You know, I hardly For ever, sure. I hardly ever look directly at women, but if I do, like, r run contact with like a, a woman with pearl, real pretty eyes, then that's all I'm looking at. But but well, I. Well, I found you need to be real weary of men that can't look you in the eyes when you're talking to them. <laughs> hey, I well, I might better be weary of me because I don't really look that much. But if I ever do see one with pretty eyes, I, I'll start. Look, that's all I'm looking at is her eyes. <laughs> I dated a guy one time, and he never would look you directly in the eyes when he talked to you at all. What you laid out to? Yeah, it, it, it's almost like he's trying to hide his lies because he feels like if you look him in the eyes, you can see that he's lying. <laughs> you can see right through it. The, exactly. The reason but he never would look at you. <laughs> the reason I, the reason I, like I don't look too much, is because I'm trying to think of something to say. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Uh huh. <laughs> I actually used to, you know, I was in the roofing business and I, I ran across a lot of women. A lot of, you know, sometimes you'd be dealing with a man, but that, the woman is the one that knows just exactly what she wants in the house. Yeah. <laughs> she wants the color. The man don't, the man don't care what color that shingles that you get or metal. The man don't care what, whatever that woman wants. That's what she gets. Right. <laughs> Man don't care as long as it gets done. <laughs> hey, that's right. And I'm a get her done her. Wait. If, if, get I her done her. <laughs> if I have a list of stuff to do, that's exactly what I want as a list, and we'll go and get it done right then where we can go have some fun. <laughs> right. <laughs> that sounds like me. If there's things that got to be done, i got to get her done so I can go do what I want to do. I actually <laughs> told Grandma last week to make her a list of everything she had to do, and I'd come over there one morning, and we'd get it all done. That way we could go fishing or something. She said, no, nah, no, nah, I don't, I don't want to do that. I said, well, you ain't got to do that like I do it. I always get Tammy to come in there and stand in front of me when, when she's fit to go to church. I said, come on in here and let me look at you. I say something, she'd be just a smiling. She should say, I better give you some sugar. <laughs> ain't that something? Yep. <laughs> it missed... It was so good. It was so good to hear from you. I, well, I'm glad you called. I mean, I'm tickled to death that you called me because I know there was probably so many other people sending their numbers in to you that I figured you'd never get to mine. Miss <laughs> Linda, you was you was right here on the list, but I, uh, 
it's always good when somebody's surprised when you call. Right. Yeah, when I was watching you dial that number, and all of a sudden my phone started ringing, I said, oh, my God, it can't be. Did you start <laughs> panicking? <laughs> did, did you start panicking and say, well, I don't, well, I don't know what to say? Almost. I mean, I was kind of like went blank there for a minute. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, I got to ask you a question. What's that? If you could have the perfect meal, what is your favorite meal, if you could, if you could pick it? Oh, my God. You're asking a food-loving person something like that? I'm talking about if you could have anything you want, name it. What would it be? Just some of the best fried catfish in the world. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's, that's that Xanarin season, and that ain't hard to do. <laughs> you have to double batter it, and then you got to have the grease hot. That way they're crispy, they're moist on the inside, crispy on the outside. That's that's living right there. Yeah, that's one reason I went fishing last night because I said i got to get me some catfish. I and I you, got two of them. One I, got away, but I did come home with two. <laughs> I tell you what else is good. That's putting them in tin foil and putting uh, lemon pepper and butter in it. Put peppers and onions on it and cook it on the grill. You want to talk about like, like that. It's pretty good. And we and we already know that that the catfish that got away, he weighed about twenty five pounds, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, I've caught some of the biggest catfish that I've ever caught in my life, probably in the last couple of years. I mean, I grew up fishing and never had did catch a big fish, what I consider a big fish, until the last few years. And did your daddy All teach of you a how to fish? The fish started getting bigger. <laughs> Did your daddy, did, is that where you learned how to fish was from your daddy? Oh, my daddy and my grandmother. Grandmother? I'd say, yeah, my grandmother. Oh, my God. She loved to fish. My grandmother, Barnhill, uh, they owned a big farm. I mean, that's their way of life. That's what they did for a living. They raised cows, pigs, oh, tobacco, wow. corn, you name it. Did and you that know that? Your life. And uh, she went fishing all the time. Did you know and that when Grandma... when I stay up there with her sometime in the summertime or any other time, she'd get up, you know, when it was still dark in the morning. With <laughs> me and her and my Aunt Lois would load the boat up in my granddaddy's pickup, and we were headed to the river. We were down in on the river in the boat when it come daylight, and we were out there fishing. Oh, just, that's the way I used to that's, do. That's living life right there. And we go down there on the weekends. The whole family would go. I mean, aunts and uncles, cousins, you name it. We'd all go on down in the same place, you know, on the weekends, either Saturday or Sunday. Everybody would be there about daylight, catch fish till noon, and then we'd start cleaning fish and have a big fish fry. And then a lot of my aunts <laughs> would come on down and bring potato salad, cakes, you name it, to go with that fish. That they, was they, some good living. <laughs> hey, when you got aunts and uncles and cousins coming and there's food involved, why, why is they always one person you got to show out? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that Grandma's a, a really good fisherman? Oh, really? Yeah. Well, my grandmother was the best. I mean, I learned a lot of tricks and stuff from her, so Grandma. I grew up fishing. Grandma will school you up on fishing, buddy. <laughs> I'm talking about I, I've bass fished my whole life. I took her fishing uh, a while back. We was, I put the boat in, you know, I was getting the cooler situated, getting the spinners certain place, letting the top up on the boat, and getting the ice, the drink situated, and Grandma's like, there he is. Right, Grandma done caught one five and a half pounds while I was just getting the boat organized. We ain't even left the boat ramp yet. You know, when you're telling Grandma about fishing, she'll say, shut up for a second. <laughs> and, and let me tell you about how to catch these fish. Well, when I go fishing, I don't go to stay all day. Like, last night I went, I was down there five minutes and I caught my cat, first catfish. Five minutes? I was down there for an hour 
and I caught three. Well, one got away, and I caught the other two and brought those home. So I, I'm usually down there fishing for an hour, and then I'm home. That's what I'm talking about. So instead of you coming here going fishing with us, we need to bring the pontoon boat over there and go fishing with you. Right? <laughs> well, you can do that, too. <laughs> well, Alabama. It's Alabama, right? Nope, Texas. Texas. Man, I bet they got good barbecue there, too. Yep. That's all I they got. A, back home, you know, I grew up eating uh, pork barbecue. Yeah. We never had beef barbecue. We come to Texas, stopped at a uh, restaurant on the side of the road coming into town because we were hungry. Went in, and I was going to get some a barbecue sandwich, you know. Pork barbecue, because i would not eaten beef barbecue. No chicken. The man looked at me when I ordered. He <laughs> says, lady, we don't have pork here. He said, this is beef country. We have beef barbecue. With you was ready sauce. to slap somebody right then, wasn't you? <laughs> oh, I was ready to tell him, if you didn't have pork barbecue with vinegar sauce, you don't have barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But I went ahead and got some. It was pretty good. But I'm still not used to their red sauce, you know, their tomato sauce that they put on their beef barbecue. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, I, I wish you hadn't have brewing that up. Now you done got my mouth watering for some pork barbecue. <laughs> They do, they do have some good beef uh, barbecue out here, though. And, and Jamie didn't leave me no money this morning. Briskets and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Jamie didn't leave me no money this morning. <laughs> and I never eat a pinto bean in my life until I moved to Texas. You probably don't want to. Growing up where I did, all we, we ate uh, the white dried lima beans with ham. Yeah. Out here, it's pinto beans. <laughs> I know. And you put your chili in them. <laughs> I'll tell you what. And I them, make chili beans, and it's good, but, you know, I'd never eaten it until them, I came out here. Them beans right there, like, work on me like a what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to I have to take them in moderation. So he don't need no x like. <laughs> I mean, woo. You know what? Uh, <laughs> one of my buddies, his daddy was a truck driver, and he told me about this place in Texas where... You could go get a steak, and if you could eat that whole steak, it it, it wouldn't cost nothing. But if you didn't yeah, eat I've it, I've heard all, about that. It's not too far from here, but I can't remember the name of the town. Sounds like me and John Patterson need to go break the mold on that. If if but you, they said if, that steak is so big, it's almost impossible for one person to ever be able to eat it. Yeah, uh, they uh, they you know you need grandma with you <laughs> if if you go to try it. Because you might have to borrow some money. <laughs> Probably if one person could eat it all, they wouldn't want the net, the one that they got for free. <laughs> yeah, they'd have or a picture would. on them like. I don't think they'd ever get it get it all eat. They'd have a picture on them pinned up at the door when you come in. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, 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 don't let this person back in. Right. <laughs> It was so good to hear from you today. Well, I enjoyed talking to you. I mean, like I said, I was really surprised when it was my phone that was ringing. Yes, ma'am. Because I, I sent my phone number in, and I said, well, they're never going to call me. They've got probably 100 numbers ahead of me, so they'll never even get <laughs> to it, even if they were going to call me. Well, ain't, ain't, uh, ain't the good Lord good. He sure is. It was, it was <laughs> meant for us to hear your story. I don't know what well, the I'm world. Glad you called. <laughs> I don't know what the world's got into this dog hey, today. Hey, Coca feels fantastic, so she's hit the tripod ten times today. Oh, really? <laughs> Is that what moved the screen just a minute ago? Hey, she's been doing it all day. Yeah, about ten well, times. About ten times. Like since the, the lady said earlier, well, it's good that she's up and around that she's hitting it. <laughs> yeah, that's it, right. That's right. It is. We we actually thought it was. Uh, you know, the good time's really over for good for her, you know? Yeah. Yeah, she's just not laying over in the corner not doing nothing. And then you'd be worried about her. I was right. sure worried there at one time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweetheart, you have a beautiful day, and we'll uh, see you in chat. Okay, well, thanks for calling, and you have a blessed day as well. <laughs> Me and Steve want to let you know we love you. We do love you. Love you, too.
All right. And take care. Bye bye. You too. <laughs> bye bye. Man. Two o'clock, Steve. What a beautiful time. All right. You're Everybody's ready? coming. Everybody's coming. I, I'm ready to get off, but I, I want to hear this. I don't think nobody said they're ready to get off. Surprise call right here. Hello? Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. You got to tell us who you are. Yeah, it's Elizabeth, a.k.a. the letter writer. Oh! <laughs> the one and that? only. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you guys? Uh, I just want to say, like, it's a beautiful day in Georgia, and it's getting better, and, and we got to hear about this letter. Yeah, I mean, it's my everyday story, and... um. I mean, I'm so blessed that you guys were able to receive it and it, that it's had the, that we've gotten the amount of love back in return. I mean, it's honestly just so overwhelming. And thank you so much for, you know, reaching out and, and sending us prayers. It's just amazing. Yes, it is. It, Y'all definitely had an impact. You and your mom definitely had an impact on my family. Yeah, I mean, we are just so blessed. I mean, it was, you know, my mom and I were talking about the other day with the number of YouTube channels that are on there and that she happened to stumble upon <laughs> Grandma Helen a couple of years ago. And then we found your channel. I mean, it's just like God has his hands in everything. He does. Ain't it, ain't it good? Did, did you, was y'all actually watching the, the video today that I read it? Yes. Yeah, you opened it. And I had just gotten home from work, actually, and my mom already had it up on the TV, and she was busy cooking dinner, and she was busy, and I was playing with the dog, and I happened to walk by the TV, and you were holding up my photo, and I was like, oh my goodness, mom, look, and she came running around the corner, and she was in confusion, she's looking at me, looking at the TV, she's like, wait, that's your photo, how is he holding your photo? So she had no idea that I sent the letter in, so it was a big surprise for oh, her. Oh, wow. How about that? Yeah. So uh, nobody knows any details about your mom as far as, like, is she, did she beat it? Is how she doing? Like, can you give us a update? Yeah. I mean, every day is different, you know, just with, you know, even a healthy person we all have our good days and our bad days yeah um so you know she's taking medication to you know help her feel better and to help her her cancer um i mean she would be you know better to give you the descriptions of how she feels and everything but um you know the medication made her tumor shrink for a little bit but now i believe they're just kind of maintaining you know the tumors aren't getting bigger they're not getting smaller um so she's just kind of stabilized at the moment but um you know we just take it one day at a time one moment at a time and you know yeah i had a person at work tell me you know when i found out that she was just diagnosed and they told me um you know if i could just make her laugh at least once a day then I would know that each day has been a good day for her. That's and so right. that has been like my goal ever since. So for five years now, I try and make her laugh at least once a day. If I can get more in, that's a bonus. Well, see, that's what we didn't understand. Because you said they gave her six months. And and see, with the five, it's been five years, like she obviously beat. Yeah, I mean, like I said, the medication has just kind of stabilized it. So she isn't 100% cancer free. It's still, you know, she still has the tumors. Um, oh, I see. It's, it's unfortunately, it's too close to her heart, so they can't operate and, and remove it. Um, but yeah, they when we found out, she was already at stage four. So it was a huge, just flipping oh, our lives completely upside down. I mean, it took us yeah. completely by surprise. 
and um yeah my my um my mom's mom my grandma we had lost her to cancer a couple years before that so that was like a huge like oh not again type of moment yeah and um yeah i mean it's 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 a whirlwind Hmm. well i'm um i'm so thankful to have you part of this you and your mother and y'all y'all definitely brighten our brighten our days and he touched our hearts and grandma and it was a very humbling experience oh i'm so glad yeah i mean i just wanted to you know share my feelings and let you know how important that you and your family are and um you know we go back and we watch videos just so we can you know (laughs) we'll just start cracking up at your guys's jokes and grandma helen she's (laughs) hilarious and um so yeah, I mean, you give us so much joy, and you guys are a blessing. So for for the people that didn't see it, it uh, you said you was come in for work, and your mom would be talking about something, and you wasn't real sure what she was talking about. Explain <laughs> that part. Yeah. So I mean, she's been watching Grandma Helen for years. And I would come home from work, and she's telling me about this woman and how she did crafts and all this like detail and I'm like yeah okay mom that sounds great yeah yeah and then she started talking about you and she's like yeah she has a sweet grandson he comes over helps her do all these chores around the house he's amazing and he's got this little boy Bentley he's so cute and he's so smart and I'm just like yeah mom that sounds great and it was your video it was a three-part video of you trimming down trees I think in your yard and it was like you had to go live from the freezer and (laughs) yeah um I just like happened to see that she was watching it on a weekend and I it very quickly put everything together because I think grandma Helen was in that video right and I was like oh this is what she's been talking about it like finally like clicked I put all the puzzle pieces together and I was like okay I totally understand now (laughs) That is is a beautiful thing, like how everything comes together just as like it should. Yeah, it's one hundred percent. So, all right, I know, but I want you to tell everybody. You said you to, where is it you work? I work at an envelope manufacturing company. <laughs> <laughs> so in my in the letter you said, "P.S. Please stop licking the envelope." And <laughs> tell us why the glue which we actually call here gum the envelope gum it is disgusting and that's like me putting it lately i like i will take a video and i will send it to you i mean the amount of stuff that's being mixed together in this glue i mean it's enough to make someone feel sick to their stomach it is so gross and to think that people are putting it in their mouth it's it is so gross like yeah, it tastes pretty bad. I'm gonna never lick another envelope. No, it ain't, cause it ain't like yellow dye nine. It's like really gross stuff. Like you didn't yeah. even notice in it. Yeah, like mixture of bugs that fall in there. They're being smushed, and dust, and yeah. Sometimes there's mice that get into the plant, and they're running around the top of the machine. You never know what lands in there, and yeah. then yeah, you got people that are got to fix it with their finger they got dust and oil and god knows what on their fingers and it's oh it's so gross yeah it made me shake a little bit so let me tell (laughs) let me tell everybody something y'all the letter that stephen read it that uh what's her name steve elizabeth yeah the letter is the if you want to go watch the original video it's on steven's channel and it's the thumbnail of Tammy standing up there with Steve. That's right. But if you want to see just the letter itself, I've actually got it on the drum channel where you don't have to uh, go all through the video if you if you just want to see the letter. That's right. And that's Danny S. Hodge's drum course. Daddy picked out just the right part. And it's, <laughs> it's a beautiful... Beautiful video. Yeah, Elizabeth, grand, uh, Grandma called me up and told me that, that I needed to take just that part, just, you know, just the letter part and 
and make it so people didn't have to hunt it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I mean, I've had a lot of people from my family that have, you know, now found that video on the drum channel and they've shared it and, and then those people have shared it. So it's reaching out to more people that I ever thought possible. Yeah, oh, yeah, I looked at it this morning before coming out here, and it's steady getting views. It got views all night long. It's crazy. It sure is. I know we said, like, earlier um, last week, it was already at, like, 17,000 views if you added up all of them, and that is it's crazy. I can't even wrap my head around it. That's that's reaching a lot of people because oh, yeah. in the kind of the way I think about people, the high school I went to, the whole entire high school was about 600 people. And and you know how many people they is at school. And then, yeah. you know, you, and then like we reaching thousands of people. So crazy. For sure. So your dog, tell us what breed it is and how much it weighs. Yes. So he is a golden doodle. He's a standard golden doodle. His name is Tucker. And he's my, I call him my little baby, but that's really an oxymoron because he's not little. Um, he's 90 plus pounds. <laughs> and Good he gracious. was supposed to be 60. So, you yeah, know, and he's not fat or anything. He's just a tall boy. He's got a lot of muscle and he's strong. You know, Elizabeth, what I noticed about that picture of you and the dog, that dog looked really happy. Yes, he is. He is spoiled. And he knows it. <laughs> Do dogs like women better than they do men, don't they? You know, it's funny that you say that because, um, I mean, he'll follow. I, I'm lucky that I'm able to bring him to work um, really whenever I want because I actually I work for my dad. So and he's a big animal lover as well. So. I'm able to bring him in and he gets to run around to each office and greet everybody. And then when he wants to come take a nap, he comes back to my office and takes a nap. <laughs> but, um, he, he is like iffy around some men and I don't know why, but if there's like a man that you can tell, he's like a true dog lover, animal lover, he will roll on his back asking for belly rubs, but he really loves women of all shapes and sizes and kids. You know, I actually heard it like it's the way women talk to dogs, you know, that voice. Yeah. They like that, that, that female voice. <laughs> yeah, the baby talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm guilty of the baby talk. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's so good to hear from you. I'm glad you sent your number in. It was uh, beautiful to get to talk to you. Elizabeth, yeah. you, you and your mother made our channel better. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes. yes. Yeah, we're hoping that we can be able to come and visit and see you guys, spend some time with you. I know my mom really wants to spend some time with Grandma Helen in her happy place and, um, you know, hold that little baby, her little baby chickens. They look so cute and maybe give Coca some loving and feed Houdini and oh, do yeah. all that. Well, uh, we, I hadn't mailed your mother's birdhouse yet because you said not to. Do you, do you want me to put it in the mail or just wait? You know, I think she's determined. She wants to come pick it up. All right, but that sounds good. We'll, when y'all come, we'll, we'll do a live and y'all yeah. be on the show and we'll, we'll go get something to eat and we'll get grandma to come and we'll just have a, a little fellowship. I know. Yeah, we're so excited. I know she's talking about, she's like, what if Steven could take us fishing? I'm like, I don't know if he's going to take us fishing, but I was hey, like, we'll I, have to see when we get there. Like, I'd take you fishing. That ain't no problem. Like, I don't have a whole list of stuff to do like Mystery Man. I, I'm ready <laughs> any moment. Yeah. Well, we could play it by ear, but we are both so excited to spend time with you all and and just be able to chat in person. Lord Almighty, she's hitting the tripod big time. My dog is likes the attention. Amen. So does mine. <sighs> well, it's a beautiful day 
what a beautiful show and, and it's, it's, it's really people just like you and your mom that makes all this possible and we just want you to know yeah I mean you guys are you guys put out a really good message yourself and <laughs> you guys are so sweet yeah well I I try to be I strive to be positive and sweet and I try to treat people as I would like to be treated and Yep, one hundred percent. The golden rule. That's how I am. Yep. It's uh, just you know everybody don't ain't like cat, but I don't, I don't, I respect everybody's decision. I don't, I don't frown upon people for not treating me the way I treat them. I I understand. Yep. But dead is like I'm be mad if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I asked Timmy, I said, did they buy us a Christmas present? She said, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's funny. Yeah, I just kind of laugh things off, to be honest. I just try not to dwell on things, and I just try and one day at a time, just keep moving. Hey, that's the way to be. Stay positive. Yep. What did you, you have to be. What did you go to college for? I seen you said you went to college. I did, yeah. I went to um, for elementary education. I wanted to be a, a teacher, um, and I really wanted to teach um, either kindergarten, first, or second. But then I started, I have to do a lot of observation hours before you're, you know, truly allowed in the classroom by yourself. And so I chose kindergarten. And I'll tell you, at 7 o'clock in the morning, when you have 25 six-year-olds, five six-year-olds running around... It is way too much energy that early in the morning. So, uh, hey, I can tell you, <laughs> I I would be the teacher that get in trouble because, uh, like, we would be in there having a contest. I would make it interesting. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 I'd have them like stuff to do where like I dare them and, and like bet two dollars and stuff. Like, we would have fun. I don't think we would get the curriculum done. <laughs> Right. We'd be like, Stephen, why is your class like two months behind in the standards? You're like, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. we I'd have them street smart, like pretty quick. Mm hmm Yep. So I thought more like first or second grade was more my niche. But, you know, it, it's a lot. It takes a lot of money to go to school and a lot of your time. And, you know, for student teaching, you don't get paid for student teaching. So. Yeah. It's it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. So, I mean, my heart and, goes and out the, to all the teachers out there. And the student teacher is the one that does the work. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 100%. Yeah. I remember when Christina was going. Yeah, it's, it's funny how you go to college to, to get a degree, and then you you graduate and you start your new job, and you're fifty grand in debt from yep. student loans. That's... It's not all bad though. They get a good vacation. Yeah. And they <laughs> they make good. I think my sister, I think she had to work about eight years before she got her student loans paid back and she's actually doing real good now but And she, that was with us helping too. Yeah, she had her nose to the grindstone a long time. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a lot of hard work that is for sure luckily when I was going to school I also worked so that was like paying for my books and paying for you know anything that I needed along the way of course my, my parents helped me as well so I mean luckily I'm not quite done with school but I am debt free as far as the student loans and everything well, that's a good but thing. I mean I had to work so hard with going to school and working at the same time so it's it it takes a lot of hard work that is for sure hey hey uh, I'm glad I'm glad like you found Jesus again. Yeah. That was really touched my heart that the you talking about you questioning it and you strayed away and then you come back. That was such heavy impact on me. Like I can't describe it. Yeah. I mean, it's hard where, you know, I, I grew up in a small town in, in Michigan and it was, you know, a public school and everything. And, um, you know, in a public school, we didn't really learn 
anything about God or Jesus or any of that. And, and, um, it wasn't until I went to middle school that we moved into the city and there I, I ended up going to a private school, a private Catholic school. So I was, you know, not really forced, but I mean, you had to learn about religion and you had to take your religion classes. And, you know, I began to learn of all of his miracles and that he's done for people. And I began to pray to him every day and I would be going to church twice a week. And it was a completely different lifestyle, but I loved it. And then when everything happened with my mom, it was like, how, how can that happen with someone that's as sweet and an angel as she is? And it was so hard to wrap my head around. And yeah, yeah, I became very angry with him and, And, um, yeah, I stopped praying for a while because I felt like I was being punished. And, um, yeah, it wasn't until a little while later that I kind of accepted everything and, yeah, began to pray again. Well, you, you, from what you said, you, like, you assumed the responsibility and and purchased the home and moved her in and, like, you took... You took the ultimate task on, and I commend you for that. Oh, thank you. Liz, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, Have you ever heard the song by Ray Stevens, It's Me Again, Margaret? I know you're pretty young. I am pretty young. I don't think so. Okay. But there were some people asking about, you know, what's the deal with It's Me Again, Margaret? So everybody that wants to know what's the deal about it, it's me again, Margaret. All you got to do is look that up on the internet. It's me again, Margaret by Ray Stevens, and you can you can hear the deal about it's me again, Margaret. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep, it's pretty funny. Daddy uses that all the time. <laughs> What a what an awesome show today, and, you know. Yeah, I mean, what a crazy. I mean, for you to sit down and do all this, I mean, what a great idea. Yep, and then as of right now, what I'm looking at, I've called everybody on the list. I don't see any new numbers. Every hey, I agree. Cher said every single call was precious. Uh. And and I don't think I heard two people talk alike. He doing the street too, Jane. Yeah. I know you probably think Michigan sounds like so nasal. Hey, you sound <laughs> to me. You sound educated. Do you? Okay, li- good. It it ain't, it She's don't. educated. Do you live near Kid <laughs> Kid Rock? Um, what's he? He's from Detroit. Yeah. Um, we're like. Maybe 30, 45 minutes. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I seen him in concert a couple months ago. That He puts on a show. I'm sure he does. He puts on a show. It was pretty good. One of my coworkers saw him not too long ago, and they said that he was really good. Yeah. Yeah. So anybody wants to be called in the future... Yep. Be thinking about the Danny S. Hodges on Facebook and, and uh, <laughs> maybe wait until the next time we're going to do it and and remember it's the Danny S. Hodges. That's right. I'm going to send it to me today. I'm going to send it to me today. Just send it to me like the next time we do this. So, so Elizabeth, you and your mom watched the concert. Heck yeah, we do. Not heck yeah. Heck yeah. So what? Yeah. What's your favorite song on there? Oh, I don't think I can choose. You do a lot of really good ones. I'm usually up. The one, I'm. She's, you know, sitting on the couch tapping her foot. You know, I'm up dancing with the dog. I'm over there snapping, and it's a good time. <laughs> we got our sweet tea, and we are dancing. It's All a good right. time. All right. Well, I want to thank you for 
uh, being a part of the show today, and thank you for the letter and you and your mom and everything you do. I reckon we're going to wrap it up here, and we'll definitely uh, have y'all visit. We'll look forward to it. Just let us know, and uh, we'll see that we can accommodate you. Awesome. Yeah, I look forward to it. Thank you so much for letting me know that you were taking callers, and I look forward to talking to you guys all soon. All righty. You we, have a- we love you and your mother. Oh, we love you guys so much, too. For sure. You have a blessed afternoon. You, too. Bye, Elizabeth. <laughs> all right, bye. Monique, you make sure you go listen to the song, It's Me Again, Margaret. Because that's what's going to happen, you nanny, I got your number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all don't forget to subscribe, click the all notifications, uh, give it a thumbs up, share this video to Facebook, y'all, we to reach more people. We can, we, we want to make a difference in people's lives and people's house home, households. That's how new people's reach, sharing the content. Um, it, and and put you can put a little when you share the video you can put a little title in it that says if you need if you need to smile or if you need a change in your life like these videos what you. about a birthday yep or if you have a birthday or whatever like we, we'll if you got a song send it to me like we'll we, we do this for y'all and you know it's a beautiful thing we'll do it together <laughs> you know you you may tell you i've like the strangest thing you ever heard uh you know i go i go look at grandma and steven's stuff and mine you know like stuff y'all can't see they don't they only get five percent of the viewers come in by notifications five percent that's bad, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, so... I, the, the, the only way to grow is this to grow is like sharing it. But they they got their foot on it. They got their foot on us real bad through Facebook. So most people just see just see you live. Yeah. And, you know, on, you know yeah. I guess they know how to, like, look for you or whatever. And a, but... It's only 5%. Yeah, and a lady said a while ago, she said, I still haven't got a notification you was live. She just happened to see it on there. Well, I want to thank y'all for watching the show today. And reckon we're going to wrap it up here. <laughs> if, you, if you didn't see my new shirt, I got a new shirt. It's Bob Ross shirt. Happy Little Trees. Oh, I got the book, the how-to on painting guide. Thank you so much. Crazy K Detector sent it. Oh, what a... I don't know if you're going to make it as an artist, though, Steve. I've seen that flower you painted down that Did grandma. You? Hey, well, I ain't it, trying to make it, it as an artist. It looked like a it looked like a part of the portaroid that you tear off. Yeah, it does it? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all good. Uh, well, I'll uh y'all don't forget to tune in tomorrow, ten o'clock. Grandma Helen will be live. So you losing people by the second. You better hurry up and speed up. Start talking. I better speed up. Uh, beautiful, beautiful to have y'all, and uh, we'll see y'all in the next video, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Don't don't forget about Grandma in the morning, y'all. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. All right, y'all. Bye bye.